welcome everybody. It's Saturday afternoon here in Las Vegas. We're live on Twitch. We're live on YouTube. We've got Matt in the background. We've got Kenny right there, and we're gonna have an awesome time today. How is it going, everybody in chat? My dog is getting excited that I'm talking so loud. Hello, hello, welcome everybody. Here, have a cracker and leave me alone. There, have another one. <laughs> right, what's going on, guys? How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm all right. Awesome. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to stay because I'm not feeling really well because, you know, okay. I explained it to you. So, yeah. like, uh, yeah. and I have to do a lot of things right now. And I still have to do a video with Lisa Faint and, um, yeah. And because I'm taking, you know, like a patch, it kind of makes me drowsy sometimes. And uh, okay. so, yeah. Well, let me say hi to who we got in chat. We got Joe Glasgow with the first one here. Sergio HVAC A to Z. Hello, hello. Um, 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 um. Kenny Sims, we have on camera. Scrolling down, scrolling down. Non fam, hello, non fam. How are you doing? Dell Off Logos 3D Printing. Derek, hello. Maker Mind Nexus, Dan, good to see you. Very cool. Yeah. Well, we got two or three hours today. Uh, I've been having a ton of internet issues. The other day, I was trying to upload a video to YouTube. It took me like four hours. I'm on Gigablast, and yeah, I was dropping like two or three hundred times in one day. Cox came out, checked my line outside, said the trunk across the street in the ground is uh, screwed up. They have to replace it. So three days later, they come out. Oh, no, there's nothing wrong with the trunk. He checked everything out. Everything's fine. So I don't know. It's, and then this morning when I first came on with Matt, I had to reboot my modem again. And now I'm up and live. Hopefully it stays good the whole stream, but something's wrong. But, yeah, he checked my modem. He checked everything out. So I don't know. Yeah, and that's for Cox, not Jerry. Yeah. I used to be a Cox customer. Actually, I used to work for Cox, so that's why I do that with Cox. Okay. Yeah, it sounds more like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Went to the doctor yesterday, a couple days ago. They put me on four more medications and... Yeah, so well, anyway, I hope everybody had a good week and good productive. And yeah, what's new in the chat? What you guys been doing in printing wise, Kenny? Well, I've been printing, I've been uh, well, actually, I am printing right now. I'm printing something I can't talk about because you know, I'm on somebody else's channel so. I'll just okay. say that I'm printing something else. Yeah, uh, me too. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, uh, but as far as this week, yeah, I got all my. Uh, uh, as a few people should know, I'm going to a, a picnic reunion next week in Southern California. It's called the Linwood Old Farts Picnic, and yes, it's the same Linwood that we all went to. Um, so yeah, I did. I did another cross that's been going around. You guys have seen the cross. And we're see our, our father, um, you know, prayer. And yes. I did a, and then I did a, uh, he is risen, which I showed a couple of weeks ago. And then I also did an amazing grace on a plaque, which came out. Mm. Oh, I seen those. Yeah, I remember seeing those. They all look really good. That plaque looked really nice. He did a great job on it. Yeah, and yes, exactly. Kenny shaved. He looked a thousand percent better. He's got a yellow hat on there. When I seen him, and I got the yellow things on the screen here around our name. I'm thinking corn. Every time I see Kenny, I think of corn for some reason. Probably because it's yellow. United States Army. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Second to none. Anyways, but yeah, I had to go to the VA this last week. Um, had a couple appointments. So, uh, and at the VA, we have a store called the Canteen. That's our convenience store at the VA. And so I saw this cap and I bought another cap for the picnic for next weekend. So, I'm set. And here's my latest two videos I put out on uh, YouTube the other day for TH3D. Here's the first one, and I've had a lot of people watch that, like 13 or 1,400 people in the last couple of days. And then the one I put out yesterday is this one. I wasn't really sure what to do with the name. I didn't want to give away that I'm talking about a light kit. But, yeah, this one hasn't done as well as this one. But, anyway, we'll see how it goes. And outside of that, what have you been printing or working on? Hey, Dan, 3D Prints UK. Hello, hello. Eagle Brit, hello. How are you doing today? Eagle Brit. Excuse me. Oh, we boy. lost 
We lost the juice this week. Breaks my heart. No. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, oh. Because I, yeah, I, I, when certain celebrities die, I do, do. I'm one of those people that do rest in peace on Facebook. In Montana. This, this one I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah, do rest yeah. In peace. I, I thought the man was very guilty, so I have no um, love <laughs> loss there at all. Yeah. I was living almost right next to the freeway when the chase happened with him, and I just here I said to my mother, I was probably like 15 maybe or 16. And uh, I said to my mother, you see this? This guy is coming down our street. And she like, really? really? And then we look out of the window and then the truck came by the white Bronco. And yeah, I bet Bronco sales went up after that. The Everybody's at the dealer wanting a white Bronco. Let's see, where's my banner at? We got in a banner we can put up here. All right. I can um, match you. I, can match you. Um, uh, I mean, he wouldn't get Michael away was, with this today, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Uh, when Michael was still kicking, and you know who I mean by Michael, um, when he was still kicking, he was in town here in the Vegas Valley. And his entourage, I don't know why, but once you are in the neighborhood, <laughs> hey, Simon Snow, channel member. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Yeah, it was Michael Jackson and his entourage. Was is it just me or did Kenny, was his mic just cutting out quite a bit? There you go. Am I doing okay now? Yeah, yeah, I hear you good now. I hear Neko. All right. I, hear is, I hear your echo, speakers, yeah. Okay, the echo is probably me. I don't know why I have an echo. It's been happening for a few weeks now. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what to do to, do to fix it. Hey, Blasto Supreme, how are you doing today? And I think we got Rocky Mountain Rep Rap. That's coming up in two weeks, I believe, right? Yeah. Next weekend. No, next weekend. Next weekend, okay. Same weekend, I'll be gone. Okay. Gotta hope that's still printing okay. This is expensive stuff that I got for free. <laughs> oh, you got Bam Bamboo Studio above your head monitoring it? Yeah. Okay. Greedy the experiments, what's going on? Lurking and doing taxes. Stephen Poole, hello, hello. No more taxes. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I used to use TurboTax and I switched over to a H and R Block a few years ago. Yeah, I was Turbo. I was TurboTax religiously, but yeah, I don't have to file anymore. VA disability is tax free. Right. Yeah, I was I was out today seeing my mother and father in law. So, okay. You know, they were the coffee going, you know, you know. So, oh, Thomas, make a liking. House. Hey, make a liking. Cat, Matt needs a, a cot right behind him. Okay. Where you can wear the headset. I said you need a cot right behind you. You know, uh, one of those cots, uh, the fish what, on the wall, that thing when you walk by in the flat. You know which ones I mean? They were like very popular in the 90s. Like, yeah, I know. Fishing, fishing. <laughs> That's how that was always funny. Billy Bass. Yeah, yeah Billy Bass, exactly. As anybody in chat watch Fallout on Prime? It was excellent. I watched, I've been. Binge watched all of them, uh, eight episodes. Really good. Da Vinci, hello, hello. How you doing? So who's going to come in and give us some excitement? Ow. Joe Glasgow lost his pinky toe. Ow. That That's sucks. not good. Yeah, that, that would hurt. Yeah, his mic was low, but it's not now. Yeah, sounds good. PC yeah. Van Litt, how you doing? Jack in the shop. Hello, Jack. How you doing today? He 
Yeah, I'm trying to get some content done now that I got a couple of videos done for TH3D. I need to get working on the fiber laser. I need to get back up in the garage with my CNC because I want to work with my CNC with my new Jenny bits and put the new router on there. Instead of putting a Makita router, I've got, I've got a uh, Jumitsu. It looks just like a Makita I'm going to put on it. I need to get, get some content done. By the way, speaking of Jumitsu, did you see the, uh, their laser that they're coming out with? No, I haven't. I mean, I mean it's... it's uh... It's a dial, but uh, actually it looks pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Jack said he's working on CNC today. Yeah, I know you, a lot of CNCs you can add uh, lasers to them, the module, but I don't, I, I, right machine for the right job. A CNC is a CNC. The dial laser belongs in the house on, you know, I don't like having an all in one type machine. Yeah, too much to go wrong. And I remember a whole long time ago before I really got into 3D on on YouTube, the or YouTube, eBay. Thank you, Montana Maker. Appreciate it. On eBay, there was a 3D printer combined with a, a laser, and this was before. God, what was it, that one company that has done? You know, it's got different modules you can put on the uh, gantry. In our 3D printing. Who? Hello, Navari. Hey, Trevor. How you doing? Anyways, but yeah, it did CNC, laser, and printer. And it, but it was an early version of it. And I almost bought one of those. I'm glad mm -hmm. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I keep seeing I don't think I'll ever buy another slinger. It's like back in the day, you could buy a TV set with a VCR in it or a DVD player, buy separate components, get better quality equipment. But with separate components, don't get an all-in-one anything. So, sorry, I'm just writing something out uh, for somebody who wants to join us. Maybe I mean, not join us in the chat. You know. Uh, takes like ten minutes. Is it, is it like 10 minutes uh, if somebody joins new to you uh, uh, after five minutes they can talk in the chat? What was it? If he's, on YouTube, you have to be a subscribe. You have to subscribe to my channel, which is free to do. And then after five minutes, you can talk. That's to keep spammers away. And ever since I set that up, I've never had any more porn spam. Mm, yeah. Damn. Take all the fun away, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so who's got to come in? Let's know. see. You got a question here. When it comes to overhangs and 3D prints, do you always do Bondo prep or just accept low overhangs? Well, overhang you can solve with several different problems. I think um, I use supports, uh, you know, like tree supports on overhangs. That works very good. So, yeah. Uh, Tree support, re-angle your model depending on how it's angled. Yeah, that's the second choice. And then yeah. if it's pet, if then on certain materials, you can lightly sand damage. Depends on the print. But, yeah, you would have to prep it with a Bondo or something. If you are going to paint it want it to be perfect like a helmet or something, you'd have to go over it. It all depends on what it is and what you're doing with the object. You know what I hate? Oh. It's when you get this stuff and it's not marked. Oh, yeah. Um, That new printer that came out by Sobel, is that the SV08, I think it's called, which looks similar to a Voron? Um, it, it has a few little issues here and there, but other than that, it looks pretty cool. looks pretty decent if they get the few little issues fixed on it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to run out. Oh, Dang no. it. Go ahead. I was trying to think of a man's name in Canada um, that streams every week. Nero. Uh, Nero was talking. He calls it Saval. I thought it was Soval. So if anybody knows in chat, is it Saval, number one, or Soval, number two? I always thought it was Soval, but he everybody pronounces things differently, so.
Yeah, my laser laser is just, I got a fiber laser for doing metal. I have a diode laser for doing wood. And then uh, that's the two that I have. And I don't have a CO2 anymore. Kenny bought a real big CO2. I used to have a little K40 that done 8 by 12. But 8 inches by 12 inches is good for little things like this or pencils. But it's not, you know, anything larger, you need a bigger CO2. So I ended up selling it. And one of these days, I'll get a bigger one to put in the garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I say cheating. Yeah, cheating. Yeah, my wife asked me yesterday, would that thing have fit in the shed? And I'm like, yeah, maybe half of it. You know, half the shed. All right, Maker. Yeah, I went to Little Caesars last week, and I bought, I don't really care for Little Caesars. It's kind of bottom of the barrel, but it's food if you're hungry. But they came out with those little round biscuit-looking things that are, it's got cheese and, and pepperonis and stuff stuffed in them. They're really good. They're like four bucks, you get four of them. It's like they made the made a pizza in a muffin pan is what what they look like. And they're really good. Four bucks, like four bucks. Oh, and a matter as a matter of fact, when I went in to order them, the lady says, Oh, they're only here between four and eight PM. So you have to get on your phone and order them on the app. So I stood there in the place, I installed the app on my phone, I ordered them with a pizza, waited, finally got it left, get home. I'm thinking, wow, she forgot to charge me and I forgot to pay. And I actually felt bad about it. So I went back down to the next morning. I talked to a different person. And I told him how much I owed. So I went ahead and paid for it. Now, if I'm at the grocery store and the checker forgets to scan something, yay, I got a deal. But I meant to pay for the pizza and these little bite things that they call them. So I went back down and made sure they got paid. The lady that was, wasn't there that, that forgot to ring me up the prior day, but I made right by it. Long time ago, I got a double refund from PayPal. Do you think I said anything? A double refund? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, it's because it was a scam. Somebody got into my account. So they paid okay. me, and then somehow the bank paid me, and nobody said anything. I said, and, I, and I told her, I said, well, if they say anything, I'll give it back. But if they don't say anything, then hey. Artis, uh, if you can hear me, uh, after 10 minutes, you can start talking, basically. Uh, you just have to like and just basically just like the channel, and after 10 minutes, you can talk. It keeps away the people, you know. Five minutes, just to hit subscribe, and then in five minutes, you're able to type in chat. And that's to keep away the porn bots that I used to get, that everybody used to get, so they turn on subscriber mode. When they go live and it stops the porn bots from spamming. Yeah, I just hit I think fifty nine hundred subscribers on YouTube yesterday. It went to fifty eight ninety nine, then it went to fifty nine, then it went backwards. So somebody must have unsubscribed, and now I think I'm at like fifty nine seventeen as of this morning, real early. So I'm slowly growing, and we got seven people. On Seven people so far have entered for the giveaway, which we'll be doing in about an hour. Then after that, we'll be doing a Polymaker film and giveaway. One yeah, is USA it. only. Ziltec and the Polymaker is anywhere they ship in the world. Oh, and I like what Polymaker did. I was watching on YouTube. I forget the man's name that was live streaming, but then he was doing different clips and commercials from different people advertising for Polymaker. That was really cool, like a 3D print general and stuff like that. Oh, that yeah, really yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, Nightcore, we call him in the chat. Not course, his nickname. And you find him over at Polymaker Wait. Discord under Polymaker. So yeah. please go over there, join. And there's several different categories what you can, uh, what we have, like Lysophane is what I'm in. And we have like um, other things like, uh, what they call again, I forgot the name. Uh, the little cars what they're built on uh, earth and all that you know the racing cars uh, what Sam Francis did and yeah. uh, the different categories whatever you're interested in like cosplay and so on uh, people are specialized in that category and they will let if you have any questions just ask a question in those chats and the person will come and basically bring you through whatever question you have 
So, yeah. And after, it, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, also, uh, Polymaker giveaway will be probably after the hashtag USA. After that, probably half an hour or an hour later, right, Jerry? Why? It's worldwide, so anybody who needs filament, uh, you know, later in run about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. Then yes, we do okay. probably the drawing for it. The polymaker, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's Joe, that it was an older woman that she was real sick, wanted to go home, and we were talking about other things, and I forgot to hand her my debit card, and she forgot to ask. And then she handed me the pizza. I looked at him, said, cool, thanks, turn around and walk out. Then I got home, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I forgot to pay. Normally I'd say, oh, well, but I, 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 I felt bad about it, so I went back and paid her the next day. Or I paid the establishment. And the guy I paid didn't seem to give a rat's ass whether I did or not. <laughs> he would if he got laid off. Anyways, art fired. Some, anyway. some places, if your drawer is wrong, they charge the, the individual the money. But you never know. I don't know what their policy is. Um, that's actually not legal. Yeah. Just like, just like uh, if you work for a company where you got to wear a uniform, they're not supposed to take that out of your pay. Anyways, um, can I mix uh, PETG with PLA carbon fiber? I'm not sure. I don't you know about bonding. Them. Yeah, you might ask that question to uh, 3D Medic. Uh, he specializes in polymaker, and he does right now what you're talking about, trying to combine different stuff, I believe. Uh, different filaments like PLA, PETG, and carbon uh, fiber. Uh, I, I personally don't think it'll bomb. Has anybody in chat tried to blend PLA and uh, PETG? If you if you do first PLA, I know, and then PETG, it will not work. But if you do first PETG and then PLA, that will work. I got two people in chat saying no, it won't work. All right, won't do it. Um, uh, then it's gonna be it's gonna be burgundy then, because I do have burgundy, PLA, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. But it's gonna be so it's gonna be burgundy and black. Oh well. Is it for a shoe for print or just for parts or model or to lower, put it that way. Okay. All right. So it's not definitely not shoe for three three D medic vents. Hello, how you doing? I figure I got all the other parts. Make that part. Cause I got everything else. Yeah, on Anyhow. live streams nowadays. On live streams nowadays, you can no longer show pews or talk about them or anything like that, or your live stream will be taken down, whether it's plastic or something from Fallout or anything. You can't. On a live stream for some reason, so. But if it's in a video, it's fine. Live stream, it's not. Yeah, Kenny, like PC Valence said, do a small test. Just make something, do a cube or something, and, and blend it and see if it'll work. But a lot of people yeah, say it won't bond. It's just that the uh, original spool I had on there when I started, it's uh, a bamboo that's not one fully, like about half full. Half full or quarter that. full when He's you got it with the printer. So it's not, a, it wasn't a full spool. But I am doing 100% infill, so yeah, that was kind of stupid of me. I probably should use this one. Here's those two prints I did in that video, which are really bright yellow. They're Polymaker. And I went on Maker World. It is a vase with a nose, which is a vase with a face, sort of. That um, Eastern Eastern Island. Uh, Eastern no, Island. Not, it, it, I don't think it, it's not quite like that, but it, it might be. I should have used supports front and rear on it because there's a little bit of support damage under the chin, under the back of the head. So. Anyway, ne Richard, needs, more cow, needs more cowbell. Hello from Las Vegas. Hey, how you doing, Richard? Hope you're having a great day. I hear Vegas is a fun place to visit. 
Lots to do there. Lots going on. Yeah, it's got some uh, little round ball out, out outside of the road, some kind of big ball with different, you know, pictures and stuff and lights. I'm really happy. When I went to my doctor the other day, way out off of Craig Road, I live up on Sunrise Mountain, I drove by a Chili's. It's like, yay, we got a Chili's close by again. But I love eating at Chili's. They have really good food. And they, they, <clears throat> all the ones on my end of town, they took out years ago and for some reason. But now there's one that's fairly close. Yeah. You can order your baby back ribs made with real babies. Every time I went there, I've always got fajitas. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I guys. Love, I'm just I kidding. love steak fajitas with mushrooms and stuff like that. Where you build yeah. it on your building yourself. Well, on well, your well, what were we talking about before the uh, we started today, Jerry? What were we talking about? You know? Well, I said fajitas. I said food. I didn't say desserts. And there's also a pink, <laughs> pink donuts next to my doctor's office, but I didn't stop there. I hear their donuts are quite expensive, and I don't, I don't need it. Well, yeah, donuts over here are more expensive than in America. I mean, one donut is like four U.S. dollars, five U.S. dollars. Yeah, specialty store charge more money. Yeah, Krispy Kreme we have over here. That's decent donuts, but I like Yum Yum donuts. Bill McGuire, do we have one we can recommend? Well, Sunlu makes a decent dryer. There's a lot of companies that make good dryers. Um, I have a couple. I have one that's got dual filament for it, and that's my company that makes filament. What's it called? Oh, God. I got a video on my YouTube channel. Uh, check out YouTube. Look at filament dryer videos by different people, or you can go to my channel, 3DHP. I've reviewed a few different ones. Hello, Jamie. How are you doing today? I use this one. I got this one, but this one is okay. Uh, it heats up very well, but uh, I do think sometimes I do lift the lid sometimes up so the air can escape the hot air. It so should have a hole. Goes out. There, yeah, and I have a hole. Okay, that's where the moisture will escape out the top. If that's the one that don't have a fan in it, then it's worthless. It doesn't yeah. circulate. I added a fan to mine, a 5015. I added to that original one, and they came out with another one. Oh, wow. Thanks, Jamie, for resubscribing on Twitch. I really appreciate that. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, my other one, I can't think of the brand name. Um, it's a dual filament dryer. Works really well. I don't use them that often. That, using that often. Let me pull this cable out and tell you the name. If my light don't tip over. Fix dry, F I X dry, fix dry, dual filament dryer. They make a real nice filament dryer. F I X D R Y. Uh, I might as well chime in. Where is mine? Hello, Brandon Knapp. That's not my son. That's somebody else with the same name. How are you doing today? I have a Solvo 3D. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad either. Dryer. Yeah. I mean, my it, filament dryer I got for free, so I'm not complaining about it, you know? Yeah. I mean, I do, I do recognize that I have to open up the lid a little bit after like in two hours and then spin the wheel a little bit halfway and then close it again and then do another, and I do this all day long and yeah, that's dry for me. <laughs> nice britches, Kenny. <laughs> Jamie likes your jammies. Well, thank you. I always try to remain sexy. Yeah, whatever film that they do have a real good filament dryer, the dual one. Whatever dryer you buy, make sure it's got a fan in it. If it doesn't have a fan in it, you'd have you'd have to add one. Don't buy it. It's gotta have a fan to circulate the air, hot air. And see what? most of them do have also the little uh, hole you can seal off for the filament to come out. Yeah, that way your print wall print wall is drying. And also check to see how hot it gets. How much? What kind of a heat value does it have? Some of them like the Original sun lube, they don't get that warm. So you got to check to see how hot they get. And about the price, it's probably about 40 bucks for, for a dual. Mm. Yeah, I did a, a fixed dry, sent me a bunch of filament. I got a dryer from them sometime last year. I done a video on it. 
So did anybody else see the uh, live feed or live stream that Rich and Patrick did? How about that? Anybody I watched else watch it? Part, of the, part of the first one I watched. I need to go back and rewatch it when they went to the convention down in Florida. Um, I believe it was a sign convention, right? But there's a lot of laser people there. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie, I've never left one on for a long time. Usually two or three hours max. Sometimes they, they auto turn off. Some on um, some of them, you just got to kind of look at the features on them. Yeah, they got timers. At least mine does. Yeah, did you see what Sam Sam Prentice posted? Oh, Dark Jester. I didn't watch it, um, but uh, I just saw the video. Do you know anything about it? You mean the one where he's promoting the K2? It's uh no 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 he says uh he's getting the vip treatment at the official line what's on top so dark I jester i sent you a link this morning check it out on a facebook a spawn versus batman uh files yeah uh no no 3d prints at the moment but i did come out with two more videos in the last couple days and my internet has been going down i had cox out here like six days ago they checked it out they said my um Across the street, the doohickey that everybody plugs into, I forget what you call it now. He said it was bad. So then he put in a ticket, and three days later, Cox comes out. They test it, and he says, no, that's fine. He checked everything in my house, out of my house, in my computer room. Everything's fine. But my internet's been dropping like 100 times a day. But after he left, things got better. And then this morning before I went live with Matt, I was having a lot of connection problems. So I rebooted the modem a couple times, and now I'm so far so good. So. And uh, Fallout on Prime is an awesome show, everybody. Eight episodes are out. I binge-watched all of them until I had to go to bed. Then I woke up and finished off the eight episodes. But Fallout was really good. Mm. And now after seeing the costume in Fallout, I forget the maker's name or the company that made one. I've seen all of the internet for the last year. But now I'm kind of interested. That looks pretty cool. That'd be fun to build. <laughs> so, anyway. <sighs> yeah, somebody wrote won two weeks in a row, and I'm not sure if that was Joe or not, but if you win, yeah, no spoilers. If you win again today, Joe, we need to redraw because we can't have the same person winning every week on filming, now, especially on Ziltech, because they don't want repeat winners. They want to be a couple months apart, and if Polymaker, if I keep giving the same person's name over and over and over, they might not like it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the odds are, but there's no way to rig it. But I don't know. It's like Matt. He's really lucky on winning. It's something to do with his long name, and his name just comes up in drawings, so I don't know how to explain it. The Google yeah. Doc is the only way to fix that, but I don't want to put out a Google Doc every week. I did, the receive, I, Go ahead. I did receive the T300 uh, this week, and nice. my friend... My friend yesterday picked it up, and uh, hopefully he got it set up already, but he needs more information of how to use a printer. And, um, yeah, I have to help him after the show. So, uh, actually, I'm going to contact him, see if he's awake. Let's see. So you got something to make. You got a friend you got to help out. You got to do this other stuff. Sounds like you got your dick cut off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And I'm not, <laughs> the thing is, I'm not even feeling well either. So I'm very drowsy right now. All right. Anybody going to come in uh, during the party? Yeah. Homemade jam. Join us. You like this you gotta run it she gets home in time she'll drop in have yeah. a great time Danny. we'll be here for a couple hours yeah see ya yeah every friday i send out like 20 links to different people usually the same people over and over and over do you have the polymaker discord uh link i'm trying to find it but i can't find it uh, Ziltech and Polymaker are two different companies. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, on, but somebody asked me I'm, to. I'm, I'm talking to chat about the comment on the screen. So oh, if you won Ziltech one week and you won Polymaker the same week, it doesn't matter. 
They're two different companies. It's just Polymaker doesn't want repeat winners. They would like there to be a gap. And that's the reason filament companies give away filament is to get people interested and hopefully buy more. So if the pe same people keep winning, they're just losing money by doing that. So that's why they don't want repeat winners constantly. They're so close apart. Mm. It's been a while for me, so I figure I'd join. I always get donated. <laughs> I never win. I get donated. Yeah, Jamie's going to the Rocky Mountain Rep Wrap. She'll have probably a booth with somebody. And she was asking people if you have a Lou Band clip of something you made that's 20 seconds or less long with no audio, she would like a copy so she can have it on her tablet to show it to show. I sent her a clip of my alien. I edited it and eventually resolved, made sure it's exactly as long as she wanted, and I turned it, turned, took out the audio. But 20 seconds is like that quick. So, yeah. yeah. 3D Medic Vince, if you're still in the chat, uh, could you post uh, the link for Discord uh, Polymaker, please? I can't find it. Uh, I'm looking for it. Uh, normally, you go on top of the page and you find the share button, and it's not there because it changed, I think, the Discord. I don't know why. Or well, the Discord might be full. I'm not sure. <laughs> And as far as Luban, I would think on Facebook, the Luban page, people would probably have something to submit on there. Hey, Sebastian. And the only thing I use Luban for is to cut. But I've been using it in a while because now I got to pay for it. Yeah, send me the link and I will. Post it then. Thank you for your help. Yeah. Oh, hopefully next week. Week. I'm gonna quit this now. That's gonna be my last week. I have to quit. quit. So I have no other choice. I want to, you know. Make myself feel better. One thing I'm glad I don't do. Yeah, you never start. Yeah, I used, to smoke, I used to smoke over two packs a day back when I worked, and then I went to vaping. And vaping is more of a pain to take care of the battery, don't drop it, put it in liquid, clean this, change out this and that. And, but it, uh, I don't cough and gag like I used to. So. Yeah. Yeah, my stepdad, I remember growing up, he used to have, because again, he worked at General Motors, but then he had a friend that owned a liquor store. So he bought Winston's by the case. I don't mean by the little thing, I mean by the case, you know, back in, you know, the 70s. And then towards the end there, he had a scare, obviously. And then uh, he started doing the Nigarette gum. Yeah, I re I, I've seen all the Halos. I love Halo. I, there's not enough episodes that already ended for the most recent season. I love sci-fi, violence, all kinds of stuff. I'm pretty open-minded on a lot of things. A lot of stuff on Disney. Like. There's a lot of stuff coming out on Netflix uh, this month that hasn't came out yet, so I'm waiting. So, Oh, there's a scary one that's supposed to be at the theaters in like a week. Uh, I think it's called Abigail. I think that's the name. Where some people get have to go to a house to keep an eye on some little girl, and she's a vampire or something like that. That looks really cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Josh Recreator 3D coming in. Josh, what's going on, buddy? Hey, no, somebody joined. How y'all doing? How's hey, how are you doing, dude? Good, good. Hanging in there. Uh, I have multiple printers going at the moment. Can you hear them? No, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Is yeah. tolerable? Yeah, it's tolerable. Uh, Dalek, one comment about that, just like with smoking or vaping, whenever you do something you've either never, never done before or haven't done in a long time, you cough and you got to get used to it. It's like when I go in the hospital. I was in the hospital for two weeks. I got out. I tried vaping. Yeah, sure, I coughed for a little bit. It's like you have to get acclimated to it again. So that's, but it's, <laughs> you, you need that coating, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's something like that, yeah. Yeah, Vincent, fallout's awesome. 
Is it good? Worth worth a binge? I don't know. I never watched. I, I watched. Jerry, you said you binged it. Oh, Paul, yeah, I watched all eight episodes. Really good. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Really good. No, Sebastian, I can't copy it. It just says Discord.com. Oh, that looks a little bit different now. Discord yeah, link. It's on, it's on Prime. So, did Cox, Jerry, did Cox ever say you're using too much data? No, no. I, I monitor that. I don't go over every month. Okay. And I'm on, I'm on Gigablast, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I know, I got, the guy's, I got the guy's card. I'll have to call him back up and see what he's learned. Yeah, because I know the they day, still got they still got the gaps. Day, the day that I went down a hundred times, I at least a hundred because my computer kept going offline. Later came up offline. Later came up like a hundred times. And his when he was sitting out in his truck, he showed me a graph where he's logged into the system, and it doesn't show all those drops I've had. There was somebody working in the area that was causing a disruption, but he doesn't show me dropping like I said I was, so I don't know what's causing it. He said my modem is fine, which I own the modem. It's fine. So, I don't know. Router? Pay, pay 80 bucks a month and have stuff like that happen. What about the router? Uh, the router is built into the modem. I got a combo unit, which my son suggests a long time ago. Dad, don't do that. Buy them separately, which I didn't, so... This is a Discord for Polymaker, but I just put it in private chat. Okay, there it is. I just posted it. So please, anybody just... who wants to join Polymaker, every day we, they give out free filament. So go on top of the giveaways and click the little, uh, it's a little, like, uh, how do you say? It's like a little bag with stuff coming out okay. on top. What's going on, Josh? How you been, bud? You're on a big screen. Hanging in there. Um, just got the printers going today. Trying to get some filament cutters printed up, and you, uh, you, we're you're going, going to go Rocky in. Mountain. You're going to Rocky Mountain, right? I'm personally yeah. not, but we got one of our community members going. Uh, Bill Buzzkill Bill. He'll be there. Um, William. That's a cool name. Yeah, um, he he's been working on like uh, the pelletizer, um, and so that's that's been nice. I get uh, an example real quick. So uh, he'll be there with with that uh, showing off the different nice. pellets. My echoey. Yeah, no, that comes from. Uh... Jerry, it, I, I'm having issues. It's probably me. Okay. Um, yeah, so he's going to be working on different kind of uh, shredding apparatuses that are smaller um, just so that we can start to think about some of the tools that we can get from Harbor Freights, Home Depot, stuff that's not breaking the bank that has torque. Uh, unfortunately for, for Bill, he did slam his thumb recently working on one of his, uh, projects. So, but he'll be there with that. We just sent him some pet one samples. Uh, so the table should be, uh, filled with a robust array of, of different things printed in pet one. Uh, we should uh -huh. have a, an MK five and MK six, uh, we'll have our meld, filament joiner there uh so bill's super excited he it's, it's going to be his first rep wrap uh it's going to be the second rocky mountain rep wrap festival uh as as you know luban 3d will also be there um yeah. or at least uh represented by uh jamie so mm -hmm. that'll be fun so it should be a good show yeah i'm gonna probably represent luban in december in Murph. Nice. At Murph? Yeah. Awesome. I, I, I say Smurf, you know, like Smurf, the little blue little Smurf, Smurf. I heard Smurf, yeah. I heard Murph. That's all yeah. the Yeah, yeah, that that'll be fun. Uh we have Doug, uh one of our uh Discord uh community members for Recreator. He'll be there as a, an ambassador and he's got uh three D printing professors uh, print a block. He has made a little 3D printer. Y'all know Doug. He's been around. 
Uh, so he'll be there too. So maybe you guys can link up and get a beer or something. Josh, you got a spawn on your shelf there somewhere? Uh, spawn, spawn, spawn. Yeah, I got the, the Kickstarter spawn uh, that they did a while back uh, for like, I think it was the th maybe 20th, 30th anniversary. But yeah, I love that one that you printed up. I got to get those files. I don't know if you've got the the share link. I think at one point you shared. Oh, that link, really big one I did for my son. You mean? Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun to. Yeah, print up. Um, that those files cost like they're ten or fifteen bucks. Not expensive. I can look up the man's name. I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but I can look it up. Yeah, that should be your next uh, alien. Yeah, <laughs> your sequel to the alien. How about a Slimer? A big Slimer. That would be Slimer cool. would be fun. I got I got Slimer up there. They got I haven't seen the new uh has anybody else seen the new Ghostbusters? No, I, I want to Not yet. But... PC Van Witt, thank you very much for the donation on PayPal. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And looking something yeah. up. There's, there's something that coming. Really, in. Go ahead. That really big spawn I did for my son. I thought about making another one and selling it, but I I'm still pondering the idea. I mean, why not? Right? I mean, it has a uh, bamboo now. How are those? Uh, you, I see you 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 do the the Ghostbuster uh, replica on the the cars. I never finished it, but I have it. I got it up for sale on my Etsy store and on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Dan coming in. What's up, man? Hey, guys. Uh, Dan, uh, Dan. You let everyone in. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on, gentlemen? Hey, how you doing, doing? dude? Uh, Tony Chambers is a man's name on uh, Facebook. Tony Chambers. That's where the file it came from. Hey, Dan, I, I'm sorry. Where I didn't want to. Dan left again. Yeah. I hope I didn't say nothing wrong. I have was a joke. No, it I, it was a click the wrong link situation. You know, occasionally we do that. We click something, and well, I just happened to be on the wrong tab when I clicked it and kicked me out. Well, We've I got a great see. audience right now, people. We've got fifty six people watching, uh, thirty seven on YouTube and uh, seventeen on Twitch. Nice. And that adds up to fifty four, not fifty seven. The numbers changed as I was talking. Yeah. What you up to, Dan? Just prepping for Rocky Mountain. Just kind of being a bum in the garage right now. I haven't done too much today. I got to get, make sure that thing's dialed in and printing, and then that guy's going, and then I'm probably going to throw that thing up on the swap table down there when I, when we get there. So, <laughs> yeah. So if anybody's looking for an IDEX, that, that big guy will probably be on the, the table. Why? What's so, wrong with the IDEX? Nothing. I just used it to print like 150 parts, and I, I like money more than I like IDEX, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I reviewed that one long time ago, and once I had it, it's like, man, I don't really use it. I don't need this. I got rid of it. Yeah. it's it, That one's the uh, Flash Creator 3 Pro. Um, it works great. I just... I mean, other than the fact that I had staff ask me to do something for the school, uh, which I did, and now I'm just sitting here looking at it like <laughs> IDEX is IDEX is great if you have a reason to print with two materials at once, but most of the time, I'm not one of these guys who's like multi-material. Like, if I print a part, I'll print it in one color. If it needs to be a different color, well, sand it, prime it, paint it, and make it the colors you wanted. Otherwise. Really, I don't. I don't print as a business. It's not something that's going to be a, a a important tool for me to have. I do it mostly. The three D printing for me is is hobby. It's not really business. So I'm not looking to make money from it or use it as a tool to make money. Do but, you have an AMS? Do you have a bamboo with an AMS in it? Okay. No well, bamboo. Once, once you get one and actually print an AMS, you're going to go, wow, that looks really cool. Yeah, and, so, and that'll probably be the case when I get one, and I'll probably use it quite a bit more than an IDEX. You're you're pretty much just looking at two colors, and and it, it's not bad for what I was using it for. It worked great. I just I, – I, I don't have that much of a need for it, and it's just a big machine that's going to waste. So if somebody has a yeah. use for it, I'd rather – 
you know, I, I know that it, it was, no matter what I sell it for, uh, it's going to be, you know, at a loss for me, which is fine. I don't care. I'd rather sell it to somebody who makes me a decent offer and let it go and know that it's going to get used than have it just doing what it's doing, which is currently just taking up space on the shelf and doing nothing. So. I was mentioning earlier, I've seen those, everybody's probably have two of the videos on the Sobel SV08 that looks like a uh, Voron. And uh, yeah. they got a few bugs to fix, but it looks pretty cool for the price, whatever the final price will be. If you don't want to go through the trouble of building a Voron, you can have something that looks like it and functions yeah. like it for a lot less money. Yeah, I was pretty vocal when they came out about the fact that they weren't giving credit to Voron with all of their publications. And I had to tuck tail because they did come out and say that, you know, we have been in talks with the Voron community. We are making donations and donations aside, you know, Nero said it on his stream the other day that the money is not the important part. And, and you know, yeah. that's but to me, it was just hold on a second, guys. My daughter's coming in. And I don't know what her mouth is going to say, so I don't want to offend anyone. All right. <clears throat> yeah it's okay. hard to have uh <clears throat> different units that you know you might not be using i know a lot of people dumped on the uh their belt printers recently just because it's like anything else something comes out it's nice and then they maybe not use it anymore kenny i didn't mean to cut you off it's all right man all right. Uh, also in um, June, I believe it is. Let me look again. Um, something like Rocky Mountain will be happening the 15th and the 16th in San Francisco. It's called, uh, looks like it's called Open Sauce. People yeah. like Adam Savage will be there. Stefan's uh, going. That'll be fun. A lot of people go to that. That was like a big hit last year. So... Anyways, and I'm putting the uh, super link. jealous. Actually, if you can go to that, uh, if you can go, to I that, would love should, to show up to that. You should definitely would love. go. That would be a good yeah. track if you can get to it. Yeah, I just put the link in private chat for Jerry to share. Okay. It's called it's called Open Sauce, and I guess they have three, uh, you know, the Star Wars three, you know, three, walk around stuff like that. Um, Everybody knows who Electric Boom is. He he'll be there. I feel like it's more like a con, like a like a comic con slash 3D printer, you know, like event. It, uh, ma like make it's like a a mod podge of a lot of different things. Yeah, yeah. It it it's it it it's opens open the horizons. <laughs> <laughs> the, it's the got name a, fits it good. I could just imagine trying to meet Adam Savage in a crowd like that, though. That's the thing, though, is you just gotta, you just gotta go and, yeah, you know, like um, you, a line's gonna form and then eventually you'll meet him, you know. The the problem with Adam Savage is like he tells everybody on all of his videos at every event, every con, everything he goes to, uh, incognito. He, so yeah, so he can explore the event for a while. He's always dressed as a character, and it's usually a character that hides him very well, so that he can actually just mingle and have fun without the interruption of shaking hands and being stopped constantly. So yeah. you're gonna have to pretty much stop anybody wearing a costume <laughs> and say, "Are you Adam Savage?" and hope that he's gonna be no. honest with you and be like, "Yes, it's me." Because <laughs> yeah, uh, that guy. Um... I forgot his name. The one that did the glitter box. Um, his name is failing me. Uh, Ro Ro I keep wanting to see Mark Roper. Or... It's Mark. Yeah, he did. Uh, he, he He's a NASA engineer. He's still pretty much a young dude. He had a show there for a little while. Um, uh, Roper's Revenge or something like that. I think it's Roper. Anyways, but he'll be there too. That guy, <laughs> the guy Mark, that did the glitter, Mark glitter Robber. bombs. Rober, Mark Rober. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, those are always fun. I kind of want to go, but man, Bay Area, uh, I'm not too fun of today's Bay Area. How far of a drive is it for you? Um, I could probably get there in about seven hours, eight hours. Oh, it's not too bad. It's uh, going down to Earth for me is about uh, 
Then we got there about 11, 11 hours or so on a, a slow route. Maybe if we didn't go that route, it would have taken us like eight or nine hours. Mm -hmm. But and if, uh, I did, if I did go, I would definitely stop at Garlic World. Look it up. Garlicworld.com. <laughs> is it a... Is it a bad area over there, or you just don't? No, Garlic World is the bomb. No, no, Garlic just, or, <clears throat> where Open Sauce is going to be at. Gar uh, no, that's in the, San Francisco. But because uh, Garlic World is Garlic, garlic I, World. Okay, garlic I love Garlic. World. I put garlic in everything, and when I grill, I whack the top off, put olive oil, wrap it in foil, and I eat the whole clove, the whole entire head. Just pop uh, them out. I, they're melting your mouth. Pickled garlic, smoked pickled garlic. I love oh, it. man. I wouldn't want to be near you afterwards. <laughs> yeah, we eat a lot of garlic here. We love it. I've never noticed anything weird about my breath or anything. My dogs have never complained. My wife's never said nothing. <laughs> they had a garlic sucker at Garlic I, World. I buy garlic mixed in the fridge and the jar is kind of liquid, and I cook with that and a lot of stuff. Minced garlic, a big jar. I ice cream at Garlic World. Garlic onion ice cream. Ice cream. Hey, Zach, how you doing today, buddy? I'm just going to say that two things I really want to go to before, you know, I I go over the Rainbow Bridge, as they say, is I want to go to Pickle Fest, and I want to go to a, anything garlic, like a big garlic event. But Yeah, they have hey, garlic hey, fest. Hey, guys, look, who, look who's Why here. Why are you planning to pass hey. away? Zach. Hey. hey. Hi. How's everybody? You're not that old, aren't you? Damn, look up garlic fest. You think oh, you're right? I'm I'm 45. I'm I'm the same age as him. Yeah, same when you get over, I'm, I'm the same age as him. Then, so yeah, me too. Ever want to do in your life? Go do it and have a blast. Yeah, I'm 65 and I'm still a stud. Yeah, you say it so. Yeah, <laughs> you say it, Kenny. Go. <laughs> I'll be 60 in two months. I'm like, oh my god, really? Yeah. What? Where did the time go? I know. Time go, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I know. Does anybody else run Discord pages? No. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. I have Discord, so but I don't use it. Uh, if I you have... want, go in Discord, Polymaker, ask uh, uh, Zombie. He may help you out if you ask nicely. What? I have a Discord channel. Not many people use it. Help uh, us just or what? Trying to deal with spam. Yeah. Zombie is the one to talk to. He set up all the Polymaker, as far as I know, uh, Discord up. Is that the he, Zombie Hedgehog? Yeah, Zombie Hedgehog. He's the uh, main guy. What, what did I miss, uh, uh, Math? Pardon me? What did, did I miss something about Polymaker? No, no, no. Uh, he was asking who knows about Discord, how to run Discord server. And I told him in this moment, talk ah. to Zombie Hedgehog. He specialized, or he's basically the one who set it up for Polymaker Company. And I mean, so far, I see no spam in there. So he's doing pretty well with what he's doing. And yeah, I gotta, I gotta get it nipped in the bud. Yeah. He's got a nice, uh, I think it's a four head, maybe five head tool changer. Yeah, uh, tool changer. It's look. It, you are going to see it, Josh. Is it going? So is he going to Rocky Mountain? Yeah, yeah. what I have seen on Twitter, yes. Yes, he's bringing it to Rocky Mountain, and sadly, Josh won't be there to see it in person. So, yeah, if he's if you know, he's going to to Earth, I'm I'm shooting for Earth. I'm so. sure he'll be at Earth as well, and I don't know if he'll like what his project will be at the time that he'll bring. But yeah, he's. He says he's bringing it to Rocky Mountain. So uh, I stared, I stared at him at the uh, the Creality party, like I know you, and he's nice. like, I Wonderful. know you. <laughs> it's just an awkward. I know you too. <laughs> it was just awkward. Uh, you can't hear social. You talk. Kenny's got wood, guys. Kenny's got wood. Well, I'm from the wood. <laughs> but anyways, that's where I'll be next weekend. The Linwood Oak Parts picnic. If you see a Weird Al interview, um, VH1, is on, it is on YouTube. He drives right by this tower. Nice. Um, I forget who he's getting interviewed, but you know, behind behind the music, Weird Al on U YouTube, he drives right by yeah. that tower. And I got friends that have climbed this thing. 
you know, Good I mean, help. illegally, but I've climbed it. Do you have friends in low places? I'm just saying, yeah, there, that is a real water tower back home. I know that only country folk will understand that song or that reference. What? I said, do you got friends in low places? Oh, yeah. He's a putz anymore. I got oh. friends uh, in all the places. My two latest video this week, here's one of the thumbnails, which has had a lot of hits, and here's uh, other thumbnails. No. I, I was having trouble coming up with the name with, for this particular video, so that's what I came up with. You can you can, you can also ask uh, Jet GPT if you want to have some some extra ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jet GPT is nice. great for thinking for us. If if you if you write where the video is going right? about, if you ask where the video, uh, if you tell uh, Jet GPT where the video is about, and ask give top ten uh, YouTube title titles for this. Then, uh, hey, we got that laser guy popping in. He just landed on a, from his plane flight a bit ago. Patrick, what's going on? Hey, man, what's oh, going on? Uh, so <laughs> He's at the airport, I think, right? He's still at the airport? I'm at uh, right there. I'm at Dulles <laughs> International in Washington, D.C. Uh, at the moment. Oh, that way? <laughs> yep. Yeah, you have yeah, a smooth flight. No tires fell off. No cows off the engine. Nothing happened. No blowouts on board. No, actually, <laughs> this is a nice flight. Like flight from Orlando to DC. Not bad at all. Nice, pretty good. <clears throat> now I have to catch a puddle jumper from DC over to Morgantown, West Virginia. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. oh, those are, those are fun. It's nice. About five hundred or five thousand feet. A uh, ten passenger plane. That's good. It was wow, <laughs> Patrick. This is a joke we're gonna say, but the TCA did it have did a search on you? Luckily, no, I did not get pulled aside. Good. <laughs> oh, you put a glove on? Uh... Nah, they would do an X ray. They wouldn't put a glove on. That's something that wouldn't happen. So, oh, Patrick. Did they did they turn that one, the one that's supposed to be really fast? Did they turn it on and show how fast it goes? Yeah, we have footage. You got footage of it. Go so I mean, is, I mean, is it really that fast? I mean, because I was thinking something that yeah, fast, yeah. you can't even see it move. Oh, something I noticed, yeah, Patrick, it, is when you guys were interviewing people, you already gave the person you're interviewing the the lapel mic. Rich should have, or you should have kept it in your hand talking so we could hear you clearly and then hand it to them well, and then let them take over. Rich, we have two audio tracks and that was just one audio track because we didn't just, we didn't have time to do any editing. So that was just the raw audio just from that little mic. But then once we get the final video, final video put together, we'll have two or three different audio tracks to choose from. Okay. And then you edit it. You can always crank up some of the volume. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yep. guys, I made a model of myself when I was very young. The very yeah, first I know. day. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a light bulb in a cold Oh, my oh, God. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a medical device uh, for teaching. Yeah. So. I made it for somebody, you know. But I think it's a good joke, you know. Like, he is the first model Man. of you tickle me when you get me to snort. I don't snore. Is it the okay. voice? Okay. <laughs> hey, Patrick. <laughs> I want to say something to Patrick. Uh, thank you for influencing me to do an amazing grace. I don't, by the way, it seems like I, I almost feel like I'm copying it all the time. But since I've seen you hold up that thing, it's like, I need to do one of those for the picnic. And I've already had compliments from people from my hometown, you know, so I, I think it's going to do well, you know, because what they do, we set up all the stuff and they have little boxes in front of each item and they throw in because, uh, you know, they buy a dollar a ticket. So they put the other half of the ticket in there and then when they do the drawings later on, who wins that item, you know. It's I'm hard sure to have an original good. idea because Patrick's already done a video on it. But yeah. I 
I don't know. I've got. Yeah, I mean, it's ideas, not exactly like the one you did, but it came out it. good. Yeah, what you did for hot mix is, I mean, nice. Yeah, I enjoyed those. Those coins turned out really well. I was happy yeah. with that. Oh, the hot ones? I mean, the, yeah, I was the... wanting something that was a borderline epic, so I wanted to go the really deep engrave. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Does it work on gold, too? You ever tried gold? No, I don't have that much money to buy gold that thick. <laughs> All right. He works at Sam's Club, not not Costco. It's Costco yeah. sells gold. Yeah. Let's say, let's say somebody would provide you some blank gold coins. Would you do it? Would you I, think you'd be I'd able to do try. it? Yeah. All right. I would definitely try. And then I would make sure that I kept the dust for myself. <laughs> oh. At least you're hearing something. Yeah. On the energy giveaway, Patrick, we're doing a roll of Ziltech here in a few minutes. The hashtag USA in chat must be in the USA and not and have not won in the last couple months. So I'm not sure if you can enter on your phone or not. Um, I'm using it as my camera at the moment. I okay. know what I'm going to start on the laptop. I'm using droid cam so that I can use my phone as the camera. A friend of mine, he, oh, he, doesn't, speak, he doesn't speak very well English, so I have to send him some pictures of the show so he can... Yeah. Well, let me share my screen. What have you been into, Jerry? I uh, just working on a couple videos for TH3D. Um, I need to get to work on the fiber laser, and I haven't, but I need to. Ditto. I need to get. I need to get to work on a video for TH3D. I, I haven't had a chance. Well, here's the uh, here's the two videos right here. There's one thumbnail that's got a lot of views so far, and then here's the other thumbnail. And I was having trouble figuring out what to call this, but I didn't want to give it away in the thumbnail, so it's doing pretty good. Let me turn off the banner. And look, one lucky person is going to win one roll of filament. Ziltech is a company out of Houston, Texas. They sell tons of filament, multicolor, pet G, uh, big tree tech boards. They have extrusion. If you want to build a custom printer, you need custom cut extrusion pretty much any length. They sell anything and everything, and they can be found at ziltech.com. We're going to give away one lucky roll. Hey, Tripod, what's going on? One lucky roll right now. And, uh, the 28 entries, and if you and you must be present to win. It's for the lower 48 only in the U.S. And here we go in five, four, three, three two, six, two, nine, 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 twenty, one. three, four, five. Okay. Well, I see Matt. Matt knows he can't win. Why is he enter? Yeah. Almighty Malachi, are you in chat? Congratulations. A lucky winner. We have oh, got I know why Matt went, enters. Matt enters just to throw it off. Almighty Malachi, please say something in chat. And are you in the USA? So that I have to go to a USA address. There he is. Matt could still two. win. And then he could just say, well, I won again, but someone else can have it. <laughs> yep. Like Patrick. Yeah. Almighty oh, Malachi, go to ziltech.com sometime today. Check out their filament. Let me know what kind you want and email me at this address with your ma name and mailing address here in the U.S. And I will let my rep know and they'll get it sent out to you Monday and you'll have it by next Friday. So here's my email address. And congratulations. Hey, Patrick, you got the same phone I got. Um, are you using a protector? Yes. Which what's the brand? Here's my makeshift makeshift studio. I got some Bluetooth earbuds for sound and mic. My portable hotspot. My bag as my monitor riser. I have the monitor sitting in the chair. Then no, I'm, I'm just sitting I'm on the floor. I'm saying, do you have a protector on? Because I know you got the uh, same phone I got. Do you have a protector for your screen? Yes, I do. 
what brand? Because I've gone through a couple. They keep breaking on me. I used crack to have to look it up because huh? I did not like the Samsung brand, so I, I went with a different brand. I'll have to look it up. Okay. Yeah, because I just cracked my last one. It came with two, and I cracked both of them. There's like three people in the terminal, and they're probably wondering why I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> like this probably looks like I'm praying on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> he's praying to the tech gods. <laughs> no, yeah, he's praying to praying to Bill, Bill and Jeff, and uh, and all the rest of the guys. Oh. Bruce and I had a lot of fun. It was just exhausting. Uh, I think we both hit our what our watch called our step goals two days in a row, maybe three days in a row. What was uh, yeah, we got them all, Nick all drinking days. whiskey? Nick was drinking whiskey. That was a single malt scotch from somewhere. I can't remember. Yeah, but I, I seen that. <laughs> yeah, he knocked a bunch of those back. <laughs> uh, that's one thing I, I gave up a long time ago. Yeah, I, well, you, I haven't. I haven't yeah. been drinking things since my kids were born. I stopped drinking and smoking at, at almost 16 years. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I used to get in a lot of trouble, uh, especially if you get me with goat slogger. Or um, a few other things too. Uh, I would I would get in a fighting mood. Well, I just have a beer once in a while. I can't drink, but if I do, I get myself in trouble. I start flirting with people that I shouldn't be flirting with, and you know, it's best I don't drink hard liquor. That's funny. Yeah, um, yeah, that can be a can be a problem. You get a little bit too friendly. These I days. got friends in all the little places. Anyways, now I got that song stuck in my head. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like Garth, man. I I stopped liking Garth in the 90s. Then yeah, he, 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 TV become, show. He, he tried to become Chris Gaines there for a little while, which even was even more hilarious. That's amazing. A man was a carpenter and he had a great voice. And yeah, I just went to start him like that. That's amazing. All right. Are you talking so about your... Jesus or Garth Brooks? Garth Brooks. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Jesus Brooks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus just left Chicago. Yeah. Anyways, cheesy top. All right, Josh. So, uh, let's see. So um, you're Chris the out over Patrick. It's the click. If you can talk about your teammate Newton Ninja Turtles game you have there. If you can talk about it, <clears throat> you can hear me. So, um, you can hear me, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this has a Raspberry Pi in it, and um, this was one of my, I'd say second projects that I started with the smaller one um, with my first printer, uh, the Robo R1 Plus. And it was like, all right, got the small tabletop one. Now I got to go bigger. Um, and so that brought me into the, the CR10. Um, eventually, I made this wider, bigger. I got the CR10 Plus, uh, the CR10S5. Um, and so we went even bigger. Um, so this was kind of a, like a nice in between, um, on size. Uh, this went to, uh, earth with me last know. year. Um, I kind of went on a, a local binge, uh, Facebook had a dealer that was putting out, um, some vintage tokens, uh, from some arcades that I grew up with. Typical. Chuck E. Cheese, Chuck Chuck e. Cheese, Cheese. and the such. Um, <laughs> so I actually got. A little coin receptor over here with an uh, just an IR switch, and a 3D printing professor helped me get it all wired into the arcade board. Uh, so that is attached to both 
it's acting as the select switch. So I can hit my select switch if I want to, or I can take my collection of vintage arcade tokens and play to my heart's content. So um, I just, I grew up with Ninja Turtles playing Ninja Turtles all the time. So it's one of my favorite yeah. arcade games. So I really, I got obsessive with theming this. Um, I'll share the link to the Facebook group. Um, but it's, it's nice. Um, it's a pie score. And, uh, so mine's a modified version of it. Uh, but we are in 3d printer arcade. Josh, you know how old I was when Ninja Turtles came out? Uh, let me say you were probably 13. Yeah, right. Yeah. I was in my, I was in my thirties. <laughs> Yeah. I was in my 30s when Ninja Try it. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> what year did they... I don't remember when did they come out with their movies and cartoons. I don't remember. I think... Uh, so they came out like 83. I was born in 83. And so then they got like All right. Early, then okay. Well, all right. Early, okay. The early... Then, yeah. I was in my late 20s. I was 17 or 18 back then. Guys, see it? Uh, yeah. 3D printer arcade. All right. 83? Yeah. I shared that with you. Well, yeah, my my game back in the day was Tinder You can see the front. Say Are you able to turn that so we can see the front of it? Yeah. Tinder and Galaxy. Oh, might be able to turn it on. I was playing with it. Some stuff's gotten disconnected, and it's not the. But it's so cool that you can uh, make these kind of things, you know? Oh, I love it. I That's mean, great. ultimately. Nice. So is that just one game, or do you run multiple games? Uh, so I got multiple games on it. Ultimately, I, I wanted to, you know, theme it. I got some pizza down here. This is like uh, one of the recent uh, skateboard companies got involved with them. Um, Where did you but, get or how did you get the graphics on it? Uh, so it's all from Photoshop. I, I pretty much made the template myself. I I measured it all and just brought it in, got a little crazy. I like the aspect of being able to uh, 3D print something and then scan it or just even taking, you know, a real world object like a hard drive and just scanning it on a basic paper scanner. Um, if you do how did that you print it out there? Why did you print that out? Was a laser jet inkjet printer? Or how just inkjet. Um, so, like, I'll take inkjet. Um laser would be better it would hold a better image and then you can take um uh so i'm using just like an eight by ten um shipping label uh -huh. and i'll print onto that and then you can get um oh my god it's a just like a plastic overlay uh so that's that's really nice to keep it covered and, and laminated uh okay. so i'll just do i'll do the print and then i'll do the lamination and then i cut it out so uh, for a while, uh, for a while, the group I got involved with three years ago, people were actually, hey, can you make some stickers for me? And doing circles and, and everything by hand, my hands aren't the best. So it got very tiring. And so that was kind of like my first uh, broach into, mm -hmm. I guess, like CNC to see if it could get like, you know, we could CNC it and... Uh, unfortunately, I didn't keep going down that journey, um, and the group kind of got a little quiet, and I fell into other things. So, um, but well, yeah, it's it's is that a Pi four? It it is a Pi three. Uh, I have not gotten into. I guess it's into the fifth generation now. Yeah, generation yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah, the fifth generations are crazy, and so the fact that. You know, I think I kind of lulled out too amongst maybe COVID and the the shortages that they went through. Mm -hmm. I at the time I remember being able to go to Target and I could buy a forty dollar pie, Raspberry Pi, and I think I was going every week and buying a Raspberry Pi. That's what I made about three or four years ago. At the top where it says arcade, that is just printed out on inkjet paper. It's not that bright. I actually had to take the 
piece it together and have it backlit. It doesn't look that great, but it You works. don't need much. I mean, it's it's And then it's I fun. put clear plastic over top in the front. That's a that's a Pi 3B with like 5,000 games on it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because if, if I'm seeing the image on the arcade... That's a seeing, TV set. <laughs> and seeing uh, like 10 buttons all lit up. What is the intention of the game? And my son told me who that was. I guess she's a Twitch streamer. I'm not sure what her name was. Oh. But I, I, I Googled her and I found some nice pictures of her. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, ultimately, it's I, – I think it's a good way to preserve it, not too many. And so, for me, the tokens, I actually met up with the guy who was selling the tokens. And, you know, he, he worked at one of the local arcades. And he ended up with – oh, my God, it's it's so much weight. I'm going to even tell you, it's probably like 7,000 tokens I ended up buying. Um, but it's just, I don't know, for me it's fun. I feel like I'm preserving something that's going to be lost. If you mm. go to the arcades now, they're like swipe swipe cards and, and credit cards. You don't even get tokens. So. Uh, but, yeah, no, this also so like has a so, feel to it, you know? Oh, yeah, Having yeah. the coins in your hand or in a bucket and then you drop it into the... Uh, that's how, that's the how so for people who are still making these at home, you know, like for me, I wanted to have that like AR sensor. Like I'm like, how yeah. can I do that easy enough to... And so, you know, you put it in and you get the clang. Clang. Yeah. And, and so, <laughs> and, you know... And it, Back in the day, you walk to the casino here and clang, clang. Sometimes you couldn't hear, you know, hear yourself think. Sure. so loud. And so, yeah, and, but like, so now you go to a casino and it's just swipe, swipe. <laughs> yeah, don't even hear that. My two favorite games are Asteroid Space Invaders and the third one I forget what it's called. I, I don't. Know, I can't remember the name of it. It's like Man? missiles and rockets and Galaxy or something like that. I forget the name. The Galaxy or something. I don't remember. Missiles, okay. Missile Command. Hmm. Not so like, like uh, you know, it's on there, but I didn't care for it. The uh, the other project, you know, Rob helped me with. Uh, for the our automata guns, uh, you know that was just going going down to the arcade to the strip uh, down down in um, in Vermont and stuff and uh, in Hampton Beach and I'm sure you know other people have their kind of locations where they go and yeah. uh, in our, our arcades. Yeah. I remember going over to Paris and we were just stomping around in Paris and we found this one giant arcade and I hadn't seen an arcade in forever and we went into it. And I was just like, yes, this is this is awesome. <laughs> Uh, so they, they just have a whole field of them that uh, I don't think we'll lose them, but it's like anything else. I don't know how other people's areas are for movie theaters, but we were supposed to get a giant movie theater right before COVID and that that shut that down like instantly. And there's been no word whatsoever of it coming back. So that's a drag guy, the Jedi. I think you're right, Galaga. Now here's something yeah. a, a cool just, fact. I, Galaga, I just googled it. Galaga, yeah. Yeah, when I was, I, I think I told this story though. When I was young, I, we had a bowling alley in the driveway for like a day or two because my mom was dating the jukebox repair guy. Anyways, but yeah, the old brown bowling balls that used to show, you know, on the plastic pins went up. That's super fun. Yeah. Yeah, those I know exactly the one you're talking about. Those are pretty rare at this point, and I think you know. Yeah. You actually have well, one of I'm those. I'm talking the '60s. Very collectible. I used oh, to yeah. have an upright arcade machine when I was 21. I had a Space Invaders, but um, no, I had an Asteroids and I had a tabletop Space Invaders. And nowadays, you don't need to have retro. You just need to have the actual content, like on a Pi, and have it a modernized version of it. It's still the same gameplay. You don't need the cabinet. Back in the 80s, all the old electronics, you can just have it modernized. It's still just as fun. Uh, I last, year I did, uh, last year I did a pinball. Um, so I pretty much like took this, extended it a little bit, and then at one point I was just like, all right, I got the old TV. I replaced it. So we took the TV out and did the extended cab. And hmm. it was, you know, it's fun. Like it's, it's crazy to think that, I don't know. Uh, my brother-in-law is no longer with us, but one of the things he would always say is just, we're not in the future. We're not, you know, future is so far away. I was like, we're, we're in the future. Like we're the future that like we, we all like 
you know, where the replicators are coming and we're on the forefront of it. And to think that you can have 50 years of video games in a, in a Raspberry Pi 5, you know, like there's something ridiculous, like 90, 96 terabyte. Hey, Josh, back in the day, they used to say a Game Boy was more powerful than a, uh, than the Apollo 11 computer. <laughs> A Game Boy. <laughs> well, so, like, that's where I think the <laughs> Army actually took uh, the PlayStation 3 for a while and uh, was taking advantage of the PlayStation 3 as far as how the, much of a power horse that was. Yeah, they were using it for some kind of uh, – they were using it for some – What's what's the name of that website? Uh, it's called it's not printables. It's like a DIY website for all kinds of projects and stuff. It's a website you uh, go instructables. to instructables, huh? yeah, instructables, instructables? or I think that yeah. well, anyway, that's where the plans came from. Chris Mink for the arcade machine I made. And there was a maker, he's on the Ziltech group. He's been on here before. I can't think of his name. He's the one that turned me on to the idea and where to join the Facebook group to find out about getting the files to the flash on the micro SD card. But I can't remember where it was from. It's fun. If you've got a CNC machine, it's just like, plump. <laughs> there's your template. You're done. Yeah. I cut it's out everything like, with a jig, like, jig saw and I sanded it. I wanted to do the same thing. Like the, the Pi score comes from... Um, I forget what group it came from. Initially, two designers did it. They just did the small one, and they were taking them pretty much to the Coleco, um, you know, from 1970s and, and pushing that forward just into something that we could 3D print with our, our Raspberry Pis. And it's just crazy. Like I said, the it was 90, 96 terabytes. I can't imagine. Somebody else was talking about uh, their array that they had for just their 4K videos and stuff. And Oh, I used to, I had a Mavica digital camera when it first came out on floppy disks and that was in high school and I did yearbook and did digital yearbook and multimedia and I couldn't even fathom where we're at now 20 years back. Like, it's crazy. I, hey, Josh, have you ever played a pinball machine that was made out of a flat screen TV? Have you ever played one of those? Yep, yep. At the angle and everything, does it really look real or does it kind of look janky? Or I mean... so it's it's kind of crazy. Um, they have Xbox 360 uh, camera adapters for some of them, uh, where if you've got that, it'll track your head, and so if you do it right, it'll 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 move with you, and so that plane of vision that you're talking about like goes away because now it's tracking you and it's moving around with you, so it feels real. That that cool. blows my mind again. Like just yeah, you know, like everyone was talking about AI. And, and, and they buy a and real plunger. I've seen some videos on YouTube where people build them out of a big LCD, and they buy a real plunger, real legs, and a cabinet, and all the stuff that goes into it. It's very interesting. It's like anything video. else you want to, you know, like make sure. Um, I have some like really nice monitors, but they're they're matte. You know, they, they don't have a gloss to them. No, don't do it. No, no. no do it. <laughs> make it will hate do you it. for it. Do it. Ah. 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 I did the same thing. Ah. I'm sure glad that. the companies went with lightweight plastic. Hey, is it awesome. regular red or wine red? It looks like wine red almost. It's, it's wine red, Mr. Know-it-all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Know I know my polymaker filament. Okay, you become you've become the uh, Liam of of uh, polymaker. Who's Leon? They're calling you Ike. Ah, oh, I know it all. Huh? Okay. <laughs> uh oh, boss Patrick. Start calling you. You know, I know everything. Polymaker. But yes, red, you were correct. Red you know? wine. Red song. Red red wine. Anyways. Yeah, and I was looking to ask our guru a question too. He's our leisure guru. He might still be listening. Yeah. Actually, no, I was going to ask him about his other hobby, how often he does it. 
the uh, axe thing. He's got enough property. He's probably got a, a place in his backyard where he practices at. And Zach has yes, something we... he wants to say. Let's throw Zach up here. The uh, spool of uh, polymaker filament finally arrived. Now I'm going to do something. I know he's got 30 acres. <laughs> <laughs> I did that twice today. Nobody said anything. I got but one right here. Just look at this purple. But look at this. Look at this chrome. Look at this chrome one. Ooh. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna Ooh. do it? The bumble? Come on. Ooh. Do it? Come on. Stab it. Stab yeah, it. Wait, stab wait. it. Stab wait, it. Stab it. Poke a hole in it. I can't say the, the Taking donations. Do I hear five bucks? Five bucks. Come on. Five bucks. Donations. Of course, Jerry do, would add to who? His, his, to who? His channel. Huh? To who? <gasps> to Jerry Stream. Okay, so so far, all of us are now banned from Polymaker giveaways because we stabbed the bags. <laughs> this is bamboo. Hey, I'm a member of Polymaker team, so I don't have to worry. <laughs> Hey, all I got to say is with the amount of polymaker I've been using lately, I don't think I'm too worried because here, let me, th these are what I got left right now that I haven't done anything with, but here's the empties. Uh, no worries, Dan. Burgundy carbon fiber. Yeah, I've got a couple rules of polymaker I haven't opened up. I got to do videos on it. I haven't done it yet. I haven't figured out don't why. Don't there. Uh, Still have one. Night. You gotta stab one, or you're you're not in the cool club. I'm not, I'm not stabbing one right now, so I won't be using it right now. But I, I can show you my official unboxing knife that Patrick gave me. Mm. I haven't engraved it or anything, but this is my favorite unboxing knife. Yeah, well, Ooh, where's my care? Where's my care pack? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, those were illegal in Vegas, but they're not now, as long as they're not in your pocket because it's too long for your pocket. <laughs> Hmm. I used yep, to play I with remember. toys all the time. Twitch Rage used to be a toy for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> like this one, I got um, Contro 2. Well, the graphics look really, really, really sharp. So, again, it's just off of an inkjet. So, it's what really wow. makes it pop, though, is that glossy laminate afterwards. I have some glossy photo paper that I've never used. Have you ever tried to? Uh, print on glossy photo paper. Um, yeah, but so let me see if I can pull out what I'm using. Well, hey, hey, hey stabbers, it. don't forget to throw this away so okay, your little ones don't get into it. I gotta go, guys. I got family that just pulled up, so I will talk to you guys all later. Have a great Take care, Dan. Have an awesome day, anyway, buddy. Stab Take care, Dan. Stabbers, throw this away. All right. Now, I, I usually uh, put it in the uh, AMS. So this is the eight and a half by eleven, just Avery White stickers, shipping labels, oh, nice. uh, and then. Well, that's cool. Like a laminate, a self adhesive sheet, and then I'm taking a roller. Nice. And just rolling it down. And then afterwards, I'm cutting that out and sticking it on. So you should do a video about it. A lot of people may not know, and they'd love to have you do a video on it. It's uh, it was something I fell out of, and I wasn't really doing much content creation at the point. So I think uh -huh. that's a good, a good suggestion, and I will definitely take you up on that. Almost anything can be a video because people want to learn and find out about anything you can possibly think of. So somebody may not know. I mean, I learn stuff new every day. Every time I watch somebody else's video or conference, like, wow, I didn't think about that. Or, I, you know, there's always something. Nobody knows yeah. everything. So. Well, it's just like doing this and going to the rep wraps and, you know, open sauce and wherever else that people can go. I, I kind of squirreled these away outside of the groups that I was in at the time and uh -huh. just becoming a maker um, mm. and, and not even – not even thinking about being an influencer at that point, you know? And so it's, it's funny to think that, you know, like these actually went with me to earth last year and it was just like, I can 
I can bring those to some place and actually show people rather than just having them squirreled away on my shelf um, where, you know, I enjoy them. And, you know, it's like anything else, like we were packing up and when you're packing up from the, the rep wraps, it can be a little hectic. And I almost forgot one of the arcades and somebody brought it up to me and they're like, I thought I might've been able to, to leave with it. I'm like, I glad you brought it back to me. <laughs> I thought about taking my drone next weekend, but I said, man, what if I forget it? You know, to the it's, picnic next weekend. It's one of those things where um, I, I do tend to leave a lot of stuff behind. Uh, once you do the 12 hour drive, you will likely be bringing stuff back with you that, or, or you just might not want to bring anything back. So I'm just surprised uh, you can take a drone on a plane. It's easy to lose stuff. I looked it up, and you can take a drone on a plane. That's crazy. Well, it's probably a carry-on, right? Yeah, it's in, it's in the well, container. The batteries would be the issue. No, no, uh, you can have up to 10, I believe, on the batteries, because I looked it up. Yeah, you do have to put the batteries like in a special bag. Bring in a laptop or something, you no. know. Yeah, I've got those fire-resistant bags for batteries. I'm sure, I'm sure some lawyer I'm not, came I'm up not with something. I, you know, because all I want to do is do an overhead shot, and then you know, we'll probably drive next year. So I'll probably just do it next year. Maybe next year. <laughs> Come around. How long is the picnic? Two days? No, one day. Usually about eight to ten hours. But we're only going to be there for about five because we've got to fly back. Any makers out there watching, if we know who you are, you're welcome to come in on screen and talk about what you're working on as long as it's not QQs. And uh, yeah, have a good time. Well, you got to get church pews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, we know Second Amendment, but we can't really talk about this here. Otherwise, YouTube the changed the rules about live streaming and showing anything, whether it's fake or real. Whether it's from yeah. some space movie, if, if aliens, if I mean, if, like the alien predator, the alien xenomorph alien that I have behind me, if I had one of the Marines things that they hold to shoot that with, and I showed it on screen like Nero did recently, my channel might instantly be shut down within seconds. And Not streaming for other, at least uh, three months or a half a year. Yeah, or something, and you know, it's just a lot of red tape. So. As far as for video content, things like that are fine, but not uh, live streams, evidently. And I, we have still, seen things like that on live streams, but it's been a couple years ago. And it's silly. It's stupid because you can I mean, yeah. I, And the reason why I say silly is because you're allowing it in recording, but not live. What's the flipping difference? Yeah, I don't, don't know. But what, if it's, I, know. I don't know if it was a that, physical part that. I think it's it silly. It's probably an AI that did it. Yeah, yeah that I is also what I un understood from the uh, Twitter uh, post. That uh, I got a video demonetized a couple weeks ago when I posted it, and I knew it might. Is because the background music in the restaurant I was at was very obviously loud, and you could hear it every lyric playing its day. It wasn't subtle in the background, and I got demonetized. I could have probably edited it out, but I never tried. So that's why a lot of people will do voiceovers and they go out to eat or somewhere doing a video is because of the surrounding music is copyrighted, which all of it is, and it's, you can hear it clearly, then uh, YouTube will nail you for it. So how do you get away with doing like, again, a video, like a video game stream where, I mean, are, are those, are those yes, li like eligible to be coming flagged? If, if you're a channel like that, there are people that you can pay so much per month, however it works. I don't know which ones. And you can you can have you can you play copyrighted music just like on Twitch. You like or I'm not sure about Loyal Moses, but there's like the people that do the discos and uh, the disc jockeys and stuff on Twitch. And they play music. They mm -hmm. pay somebody a service per month or per week, however it works, to allow to use copyrighted music. You can pay the right to use it. Yeah. Uh, and I got some guests over again. everybody, so I gotta I gotta bounce out. So take care, uh, Josh. Good. It was really Thanks nice having me. Uh, Thanks nice for letting me uh, show everybody the arcades. And if anybody wants to learn more, reach out.
Have fun at Rocky Mountain Rock Rap, my friend. Take care. Not yes, going. Yes, well, I'm not See going, you but you know, everybody oh. can say hey. right. how to well, Bill. You stop by our table and say hi to Bill. Well, yeah, when you're on Rocky Mountain uh, and we're going live, join us for like five, ten minutes. Sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, if, if you're going to be doing this and, and everything works out, yeah, we'll, we'll hop on and talk shop. Yep. Take care, buddy. Take care, everybody. Well, that's nice. The four, four musketeers. Are you drinking a desperado? I might. I know the can. My friend drinks it all the time. Yeah, I I, li I like uh, tequila flavored beer. It's nice. It's refreshing. Hey guys, it's giveaway time. Pumpkinaker oh. filming. Oh, I forgot. To okay, that one. It, okay, I signed up. But if I win, I give, I, I basically give a friend of mine the filament, and he's right now in uh, near Poland, and he will get the <laughs> filament from me if I win. Hold on, hold on. I forgot to do that one. So I normally not. Yeah. Hashtag Polymaker in chat. Anywhere that they ship to in the world, you have a chance. <gasps> Oh, there it is. That was Pete. Okay, it wasn't. Yeah, that was Pete that's won twice in a row. I'm pretty sure. Am I wrong, Pete? I think it was you that won twice in a row. Because I was thinking it was Gary earlier and it was Pete. Now that I've seen your name in chat. Um, anyway, anywhere they ship in the world, you can win one roll of Polymaker film. And what will happen? They'll draw. If you're present in chat and you say, I'm here, I won. Quiet, Nikita. Let me give you a cracker. I will get on to a Discord later. I will send you a link. That you fill out, uh, you tell Polymaker. I give you. I'll anyway. I why am I having trouble getting this out of my mouth? If you <laughs> win, I will give you my email. Simply respond to it. I will send you the form later from Polymaker, where you fill it out, uh, the information, what you want, and where you live, and they'll send you the code, and then you're ready to go. So, uh, yeah, Pete said it was him. He's going for a trifecta. So, anyway. All right, here we go. We got 24 entries. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Draw. Big money, big money, big Any, money. Come on now. Anybody but Pete. Anybody but Pete. Or <laughs> Matt. Oh, I saw my name. I saw my name. Gary. Oh. Or Gary. Gary Curtis. Gary Curtis, are you in chat? And congratulations. congratulations. Gary right. Curtis, are you in chat? Mm. Doesn't look like it. I don't see any Ten, movements. Nine, eight, Gary Kurt, seven, no, no, I'm six. not counting down that pass. Gary, <laughs> he, he writes yes. <laughs> Gary Curtis, here he is. There he is. Awesome. Hey, Five, four, three, three, two, one. Okay, hey, Gary, here's my email Gary. right here. Gary. Okay, Gary, there's my email. Shoot me an email. I don't need any personal information, and I will send you a code later that you'll fill out for a winning Polymaker. One roll of filament. Congratulations. Thank you very much. What about the disclaimer? You guys sign off to YouTube and, and Google. You guys sign off that security clearance, you know, to Google and, and, and Big Brother and all that. Okay. All right. What do you mean, Kenny? Well, that's what it seems like. Seems like you know anything we do, we gotta we gotta answer to Big Brother. Big, Big brother. Brother's watch. Big Brother's watching. They are always watching. Somebody's watching you. <laughs> yes, yeah, fun giving away. I wish I was a multimillionaire. I won mega bucks. I would love to give people stuff, and or randomly buy my maybe pay off your house. Maybe go buy a new vehicle. I wouldn't donate no, 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 anything no, no. to charity. Give away I, I physically want to help individuals, but I would not give a dime to charity. Because a lot of that charity money is going to somebody's pocket up on top of the ladder. Yeah. And unlimited trips to Trump. Wink, 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 wink. Yeah. I'm at the fireworks stand. See where your your mind's at? What about fireworks stand in Trump? I said, and unlimited trips to Trump, and then you went, huh, because the... Oh. Probably oh, the yeah. warehouses. But I, you know, fireworks. 
Okay. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. wasn't thinking anything. Yeah, they have fireworks in Trump, Nevada. If you but live in Pahrump, if you live in Pahrump, you cannot buy fireworks in Pahrump. It's illegal, and they'll kick you out of the store. But if you live in Vegas, sure, you can buy them and hope that the highway patrol don't stop you going back. Yes, I know for a fact. I used to have Trump ID. I tried to buy sparklers one time for my boss, and they told me to get out of the store. So I was walking around trying to find somebody else to pay for what I had in my hand, and they said, you can't do that. You better leave now. We're calling the sheriff because I had there Trump ID. Even though I lived in Vegas and I was out there on the weekends working on my property, I got Trump ID. That way I wouldn't have to smog my vehicles. Oh. so You're like, you're like my pods guy. As soon as you got that property out in Utah, yeah, everything was Utah, Utah, Utah. On, but yet he was still living here until he sold his house. He did the same thing. Use the address out there. Which I don't blame. If I had something like that, I'd probably do the same thing. Mm. I kind of missed going out to front now that my sister moved from there. A lot of places to fly the drone out there. About an hour and away she, from Vegas. And she had a quad. But she gave that to her uh, step stepson. And I got a visitor. You do? Yeah, right here. Oh. Well, what if that person's called charity? Good point. <sighs> and, and there's some charities that are still um, worthy of our money. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't give it to the Red Cross because ever since 9-11, I heard about the corruption with the Red Cross after 9-11. Oh. Um, but as far as like the Salvation Army, oh heck yeah! Good I will help individuals. Oh, no. I'll, I'll individually yeah. help people out. If you yeah, give oh, I know. If you give a hundred billion dollars to any charity, are they going to be shut down tomorrow? No, they're going to keep collecting money. It'll never stop. Yeah, well, so help out individuals that need help. Just like there's uh, YouTubers out there. There's YouTubers that have videos where if you can if you can throw this football, if I throw you a football and you can catch it, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Or I'll give you a thousand dollars. I see videos like that all the time. They're rich people that have YouTube channels that want to give away money and they challenge you to something. It's like, hey, if you can dunk it or shoot from here and make a basket, I'll give you a hundred bucks or five hundred bucks. There's lots of videos like that. It's cool because they're giving normal people lots of money to do something very simple. Yeah. I, I mean some of the, some of the stuff on YouTube, um, yeah, it's like getting to be too yeah. like like the one guy that bought a market and then he did all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, what was he? The, the, the beast. beast or something? Like, yeah, the Mr. Beast. beast. Um, I, I I could only watch a couple of his video cut. I'm out. Okay, I get it. You got money. No, actually, he doesn't. Yeah, I try to get along with everybody. I'm very open minded. Because, because and, what uh, what he says, he 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 spent all the money that he earns and gets uh, uh, all back into the uh, the employees and also into the projects. Mm. I mean, that's what he says, of course. <clears throat> of course yeah, Simon, we already had the giveaway. We just had about five minutes ago. Sorry, Simon. Yeah. And then and then there's Linus. Uh, he's, he's a big one. You know, everybody. Yeah, Gary, Linus. I have your email. Thank you. Do you have a stream tonight with. Uh, no. What's his name? No, they, again? They, they just flew in. They're dead tired. They'll be sleeping, I'm sure. All right. All right. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that was yeah, he's at the that thing. Yeah. Uh, Gary, there's nothing else you need to do. I'll send you the link later on today that you'll fill out for Polymaker, and then they'll contact you. Uh, you tell them. You can go to polymaker.com or polymaker.us. Look at their filaments. See what you might like. So when I send you, send you the form later, you can pick out whether you want PLA, PET, G, or you know whatever you want in a color. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, like this beautiful purple, for example. <laughs> it's a very beautiful color. Is it starlight one? Uh, uh, looks a little bit like starlight. Silks are beautiful, but they have no strength, no rigidity to them. That I've found, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, this this is going to be used for one of those uh, busts, which I'm preparing now. Oh, look out! Oh, look out. Freeze. Are they, yeah. are they did good? you keep them in? 
if you didn't keep them in the fridge, don't open up the package. Because <laughs> when they're soft and melty, they're disgusting. But I love Reese's, but they got to be in the fridge. Yeah, me too. Jerry, how long do you think I lived in, in the Vegas? My wife thinks it's crazy. A lot of people like, a lot of people like soft chocolate. Well, yeah, in Vegas it melts fast, yeah. My wife thinks it's crazy to put chocolate in the fridge. This is the color. So well, purple, you know, I don't, right. I don't so like purple. soft soft candy. I like things hard in my mouth. I don't want it to be soft. How do you like that one? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Very welcome, oh, man. Gary. Okay, we have a laugh. <laughs> 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 Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Frozen Pearl. Snickers. Well, frozen. I don't know. That's a little too hard. I guess I've never tried a deep fried Snicker. That might be interesting. Nah, nah. It's nasty. Is it? I was kind of nasty. Too, too overpowering. You know I mean, nah. Speaking of deep fried, you know what they did at, in Southern California, what they came up with? Mm -hmm. and, and I never got to try it. Deep fried Kool-Aid. You know, little Kool-Aid balls. You know, they would, you know, get Kool-Aid to make make it to where it was pliable, I guess. And, you know, yeah. and then you put dough. But deep fried Kool-Aid. I'm like, man. And it's so like hotcakes at bears in Southern California. Huh. I've never heard of a Kool-Aid ball. I can think of Jello, but I can, I don't see how you get deep fried Jello. Well, I mean, all you got to do is just get it wet just enough, and to where you know, to where you can you know make it pliable. And just don't don't drown it like you're going to make actual Jello. You know. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we got Steve from Seaford popping in. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey. Steve. How is it today? Hey, how you doing, Zach? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, getting all ready hey, for Rocky Mountain. Hey, I, got, I, bet, I huh? got an email from this guy the other day, man. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, the uh, yeah the the new one. Oh, oh, the beta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be able to push out the uh, the public release on tomorrow. The full release. It seems like I've had a couple of issues, small stuff, fixed it. So, um. That yeah, I want to get that all shipped. Then it'll be like full on, uh, 100. I mean, I've been prepping, but full on prep for Rocky Mountain. Nice. Now, um, who else coming out? Or is everyone here coming out? I know, I'm going to a picnic. Okay. In California. All right. And Zach lives halfway around the world, but he's going to be there. He does. Yeah. Oh, Zach, are you coming to Smurfs this year to England? Yeah, I need to I need to check with uh, with some uh, extra sponsors because there are a lot of things that uh, needs to be paid. So uh, I agree with my wife. Uh, I'm able to go, but I say it like that. But uh, if if there is no funds, I'm not going. It's like an hour away from me, so Manchester. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and no. I don't know if we're gonna take a hotel or not. I think so. I don't think my wife is willing to drive in the morning, early morning from like nine o'clock when it's open up at 10, you know, get yeah. there and then uh, in the evening come back by six o'clock or something like this. But I want to stay for the after party, you know, because this year I was not able to do it because I was too tired and it just knocked me out, you know? Yeah. So. And I missed a lot not going to the after party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's getting hot today. It was cool. It was it was nice. But I'm not really a party goer. So yeah, me not either. I don't drink. So mm. I do drink, but I don't get. I I, I, I I do drink too, but I don't want to get drunk. Right. You know, because I get a hangover almost immediately. No, I, 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 I will always uh, keep it, uh, you know, normal, social, not uh, going too crazy. Just uh, drinking some beer, having fun. Yeah, let me know what hotel if you go. And I will yeah. try to arrange something. 
Last year for Earth, I plan I start planning everything at uh, I think around May, end of May, to book the plane ticket, hotel, uh, rent a car. But for this year, I'm I'm not sure. Well, uh, Steve, anything new and exciting going on at Hue Forge? I mean, I released the beta of seven one. Uh, it makes color aware a lot easier because it it displays where the red, green, and blue bins are alongside the color core in the middle. Um, the color core has also been segregated into discrete colors by layer, which makes it a little bit easier to track. Um, it's a lot of quality of life and then just bug fixes from 7.0, but it just kept adding more quality of life features as I went. Um, fixed some color pop issues. The color pop split was not always consistent. It was having rounding errors. Um, so it's <clears throat> mostly it was around color stuff that I was uh, fixing up and adjusting. But got the beta out the door. Oh, and TD1 integration. So it'll talk to a TD1 and let you yeah. pull your filaments in directly and populate the yes. library. Yeah, Luban just came out today with uh, a newer version of the paint program. Okay. So I, I didn't try it yet. Uh, I will download the program tonight and see how it is. And next week, hopefully, I can show some of the stuff off here and see how it is. I mean, the difference between your painting and the painting of Luban is yours is much more nicer and thinner. But the old version of painting of Luban was mostly very thick, and it was almost like how you put layers on. You know what I mean? Like it was not perfectly flat. It was. Uh, let me show you. Uh, Hue Forge desktop shortcut should work now. Uh, you can right click and make a shortcut. Well, similar to this. Oh, okay, like real chunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chunky monkey, good ice cream, Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> it's supposed to be in the booth now. No. Yeah, and they just yeah, no. yeah and they and they just got thrown to the curb too. You see that in the news? No. No. Their parent their parent company threw them to the curb. Oh, interesting. Who yeah. you can't buy Ben and Jerry's no ben more. And Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. Wow. I they see. uh they open their mouth too much. So let's just say it that mm -hmm. way. Wow. Ben so and Jerry. Roger, Roger Brown, I want to follow up on this. In six five, like you couldn't do it. Just like the De Niro and a few others. Yeah. See where I'm going? Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. In uh, <laughs> in six in six five, I don't think it would run, but it wouldn't save filament. It wouldn't do other things. In seven oh, I believe I fixed that. And seven one is pretty definitely fixed. Okay. So you should be able to launch from a um from a desktop shortcut. Uh, I always pin it to the taskbar and just do it that way. That's but that's worked. For a long time, so. Um, but there were issues, and actually, uh, seven one. One of the things I, I didn't know I'd done this, but um, on Mac OS, it wasn't. It, it would if you like told it you wanted to run double click on a HFP file, it would load Hue Forge, but it wouldn't load the file, and so then you'd have to go and select the file again. Now it'll actually load the file properly. That was a yeah. little bit of of Mac fun, where it doesn't actually pass it on the command line like every other OS does. Um, and I'm still working on the, uh, the Linux build. The packaging is just killing me. Um, one of the packages I can't get to run, and like the so there's two major formats these days: App Image and Flatpak. And Flatpak I can build and it'll run, but it crashes after about 30 seconds, no matter what I do, or if I load a file, it crashes every time. And then um, the uh, image App Image I can't get it to run. So I'm having lots of fun there. Uh, filament release. Uh, it will be officially released uh, at Rocky Mountain. And we should, if I if my distributor shipped them, um, it's still not 100% clear, should have 100 spools of chrominal, which doesn't work uh, there. This is just a box, obviously. I'm actually printing with a couple spools right now. Me? What company no. is that? Uh, this is, oh. so I, I, I'm, I'm white boxing it, a white labeling it. It's not Polymaker. Uh, it's called Chrominal, and it's um, some. It's five five filaments right now that fill voids in the Hue Forge for Hue Forge. So um, it's a it's two grays, one at a TD of three and one at a TD of eight, both fairly dark. Um, and then there's a brown, a dark brown with a TD of four, 
and then a dark blue with a TD of six and a green with a TD of eight. Um, and these are really good for smoothly blending things that have not been blendable in the past. Uh, smooth. <laughs> nice. That actually, you know, I, I like that. I might use that. Um, so we'll have about 100 boxes of it, at, or 100 spools of it at um, Rocky Mountain. Uh, I went in with a guy who works for a, uh, this the guy who runs um, advanced 3D printing um, dot com. He, I went with him and we went together on it. So are you going to be selling the spools at Rocky Mountain, right? That's correct. Yep. Have you oh, set so. a price a set a price yet? You can talk about or no? <clears throat> yeah. So the the MSRP is going to be thirty nine ninety nine, but we're starting off twenty percent off, so it'll be thirty one ninety nine um, at the show and during launch. It's you know it's do, a small manufacturer for a custom order, so it's going to cost more. Do than people that buy it your that your filament line do they get a sticker? Um, I do have stickers for Hue Forge. Everybody but... loves stickers. That would help make the sale. But <laughs> so you can get a sticker if you want, but you can get a sticker without buying the filament uh, as okay. well. Yeah. So I I had a th I ordered a thousand stickers, and then talking to Justin, I ordered two thousand more. Um. Mm -hmm. So there's there'll be three thousand stickers at my booth, minus a couple that my kids have pilfered. Wow! But um, so and then I've been I continue to try to print TPU Hue Forges. They they work, but the, my TPU printing is not great. This is you know, so, and then the wow. patches, doing the uh, the the like the iron on type patches, in TPU. So I'm I'm playing with those. I'm having issues on the upper layers just not being continuous, but the, I don't have a great printer for TPU. So the guy actually, the the guy I'm working with on um, all 3DP, he actually has um, a extruder that he's created that is extremely good for TPU. He has a machine. He had a machine at Rock at Earth printing um, uh, 80. No, he was doing 60 cubic millimeters a, a second of uh, TPU. So, so Steve, yeah. how's uh, Huge Forge doing for uh, new, uh, you know, newcomers? You know, I mean, still have still a grow, yeah, still growing? Yeah, well, yeah, we still got newcomers coming in all the time. Um, I would say that the numbers of newcomers coming in are pretty stable. Um, it's not there's not a huge increase in the number of people buying it, but it's it's been pretty consistent. Um, I did get a fair number of upgrades this weekend. Um, to get or this last this week after I release seven one beta because betas go only to commercial backers and then mm -hmm. once I go they'll go to once I full release then it goes to everybody um, and this one's a short beta that I'm actually going to be announcing the next beta at Rocky Mountain as well you heard that here not first but pretty pretty close first um, and that one's going to be a much longer beta but I had people who I said you know who said oh if I upgrade do I get access to it now for the TD1 integration because I got their TD1s and like can I hook it up I'm like well the beta will let you um, and I said but like literally Saturday Sunday I'm going to be releasing it to everybody almost certainly and they're like ah it's all right I'm buying it so I had a, you know a fair number of upgrades just to get access to the TD1 integration um, this week as well so that never hurts good um, and. I always like Until to see the you know small guys make it. I appreciate that. It's um it, the the community's been pretty pretty uh really supportive. Three months into Hue Forge full time, is it three months? It's four three and a half months. Or no, it's three because I guess I quit my day job on January twelfth, like full well, that was my last day. So well, maybe you'll, maybe you'll you'll turn into another light source. Look how they're moving along. <laughs> light burn. No, no. Hey, he started no, he in his home. garage. You work from home full time now, right? Right. Yep. I work from home full time. Do you have kids and the animals that distract you, and you got to kind of keep them out of the room and close the door so you can concentrate? Um, I do have kids. The animals don't come down in the basement that often. We have a dog and two cats and a bunny. Um, the bunny is in its cage, and then because the bunny likes spicy hay too much and pulling up the carpet. Um, but the. Uh, the cats, one of the cats never comes down from the upper floors because she doesn't like the dog. And the dog barely ever comes down here unless there's food like left over down here. So I don't get bothered by that. The kids don't bother me too much because they're 12, uh, 14, and 16. So they're okay. kind of on their own and want me to leave them alone anyway. The problem yeah. is that no one bothers me and then I'm down here forever and I work all the time. Oh, wow. So, 
So uh, I've been just working a ton um, and I, I'm trying to get more of a balance there. I, I have decided that after Rocky Mountain, I'm basically taking the next week off and just playing um, Starfield because I bought it back at launch and I've literally never started it up. Oh my God. So. Yeah, I, I have also games that I bought <laughs> that never actually touched or played it. Yeah, one of my dogs is always outside. She doesn't like being in the house. And then my other dog, Nikita, is always underfoot wherever I am. She's right next to me. And whenever in the evening, whenever I walk in my bedroom to go watch TV, the minute I walk in, I'll have something in my hands, whether it's a drink or food or whatever. Her ears that are always laying down, they stand straight up like this. And she's looking at me to see what's in my hands. It's pretty funny. Her ears yeah. shoot straight up to the side and she's looking at me. And then she realizes that I'm not poor. They go bloop and they drop back down. It's pretty funny. Yeah. I must, be getting um, that. I must be getting over that. I look up Starfield. Oh. <laughs> well, and the wife and I started watching uh, Fallout last night. Oh, yeah. Okay. Excellent. I've seen all eight of them. Yeah, I liked yeah. it. And I really wasn't sure, you know, like, because it has, I go that, keep going. it has that specific style. You know, it has that very, very Fallout style. And I actually have never played the games. Like, I have like three <laughs> yeah. of them. And I've ne- I have like three of them. I've just never sat down and committed to them. And but it has that recognizable style and it's very specific. And I wasn't sure what she was going to think about it. Like, what was she going to think about? It? But she loved it, so I was like, "Oh, awesome, great." Um, but uh. yeah, Jerry had to do the same thing I had to do a little while ago. Yeah, yeah go potty. <laughs> he said he had a delivery. Oh. I thought he yeah, had a delivery this make. type of delivery that can he had a delivery it. to make is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, to the uh, Clark County sewer system. <laughs> <laughs> make some make some dono- donations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Liquid <laughs> assets. <laughs> so yeah, I've been working on um like demo prints, things to show people how Heathforge works, like how because we, we kept grabbing demo prints at the table last time, but we only had a couple of them that really were good demos of concepts. So I've been working on that. I've had some projects for people that we should see at Rocky Mountain, and uh, just yeah, I have and I have a slide presentation to give. I have a presentation to give on Sunday, and PowerPoint's been open for four days. And that's about as much. Pro- oh, I wrote the title party page yesterday, so I've Ooh. been really making progress on that that talk. So, so this is the second annual, right? Correct. So, is it two? Uh, is it big enough to where they do keynotes, or do they even have keynotes yet? It's not really a keynote, but they have a they have like a speaker's corner thing with some seats, and you can come and give a presentation on whatever. I'm going to do adding color to Hue Forges because that seems to be a common issue people have: is how do I add? Like they can do black and white or like a sepia tone or something, but they don't know how to add color and get color added. So I'm going to go through basically like the four ways to add color. You want um, you want to hear something trippy, Steve? I've been here long enough in the Vegas Valley, walking out of Comdex one day, I seen a guy that was uh, demonstrating a web camera, in other words, where you could see him on the monitor, and he's like waving at everybody going by. It's like, what's this? It's called a webcam. I was like, oh, okay. (laughs) And that was Comdex. I wish they'd bring that back. Oh, yeah, that's right. It used to be out of Vegas every year. Yeah, I need to get a mount for my cell phone so I can put it around my neck. So when I'm working on something in front of me, I don't have to try to work around a tripod and everything trying to film what I'm doing with my hands, have something right on my chest. I know they make GoPro mounts like that. I just need to get something and plug my S23 in it. I haven't looked. I'm sure they make something. Yeah, we still got CES after the first of the year, though. Yeah, I haven't. I went there four or five years ago with my son. He worked at one of the casinos and I was able to go with him and that yeah there's a like lot 100, of walking. Trillion, 100 trillion people it's a lot of walking well we went to his work and we took that shuttle thing whatever it's called and that took us right to it and then just walk down the stairs and walk in but yeah a lot of walking a lot of lots to see that those kind of shows you can't buy anything because it's all designed for companies and corporations it's just get stickers and pamphlets and stuff like that uh, Rocky Mountain Rep Rep or a show like that would be much better because you can actually buy things that you see or negotiate or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you can still come back with a bunch of stuff from like 
uh, CES or Condex. I remember when I first saw my first cardboard Samsung box, you know, that's a, what everybody used to carry at the conventions was Samsung. I'm like, who's Samsung? Yeah, who's Samsung? <laughs> that was back in the day, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I got Samsung everything almost. Anyways. Those were the good old days. Matter of fact, and then um, and after, after convent or after an after party, put it that way. Mm -hmm. Like it was a Monday night football, and then it was a convex week. Uh, it was an after party, and it was at Caesars. And I mean, God, talk about a party! And I think it was. I don't know if you remember the company U.S. Robotics, but I think it was. Mm -hmm. what well, I think they were hosting it. You know, if you go online to the U.S. Robotics website, they're still selling overpriced 56K modems, according to their website. God. <laughs> God, that was so long ago. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I mean, this this website must be dead. Like, it must be moribund, but it's still here. Is someone, like, maintaining it just for Internet history or what? But you can still go look up U.S. Robotics, and there's a page talking about their modem. I remember the secret. The three com camera that uh, Leo Laporte used to push, three com. Well, or when a company runs out of a product and it's listed on Amazon or somewhere for fifty thousand dollars, it's a placeholder so they don't have to rerun their ad later. No one's going to buy it. Obviously, they don't have the product mm -hmm. in stock, so they they jack the price up so high just to keep their spot, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Something to do. They were talking they about bought, on the news the other day. U U.S. Robotics got bought by Unicom. So. Yeah, and Comdex what used to be... Um, God, because they used to work for the company. Uh, they were also a magazine. Um, God. Oh, man, I'm having a brain fart. Yeah, because it was also an outsourcing company. Because uh, we did Adobe, we had Adobe accounts, and I'm talking over by the uh, uh, Vegas airport. You know, we had Adobe, we had Logitech, we had Web TV when Web TV was a thing. See how long yeah, I'm talking about? To have Web TV. So, oh, and um, uh, the scanner, um, the paper scanner thing. Oh, God, man, there, there was a paper scanner that was big back then. Anyways, I would love to have a. Hey, I gotta ask you, Steve. Do you ever get into uh, scanners, uh, 3D scanners? No, I haven't done any 3D scanning. Hmm. Because every time I bring that up, you know, I'm like, how many times I'm gonna use it? Yeah, that was my thing. Like, I'm like, I could, you know, the company could buy one, but for to what purpose? Like, what am I gonna yeah. do with it? You know, and it's a, there's there was a lot of like that was actually something that I, I probably I, it was good, but I was very very intentional to say just because the company can buy it, I'm not gonna buy it. After you scan a, your family, and like okay, now what do I do? I scanned yeah. everybody in the family <laughs> until I have a reason to buy it and the use case yeah. to buy it. And so like I did just buy an iPad because I do see that at some point I'm probably gonna have to have an iPad version, and they were on sale. I saw that they were they were marked down. I didn't get the high end pros. I wanted to see what the normal one would be like. Um, but like, so things like that, but I'm like, yeah, okay, I can see in the next six months that I'd probably want to have it. And, oh, it's on sale. Okay. I'll grab it. But, hmm. but because I'm seeing that down the road as a, as a very viable thing that's probably going to have, have to happen, but wow. Not, not buy something that you maybe need right. just one time and not, uh, using it's it. Always been the software on scanners. That's kind of been a problem. I think just wait a couple more years. They're going to work out all the bugs, and there'll be an inexpensive scanner that works perfect for everything because it's sort of slowly getting better. Yeah. Well, I think that um, the other thing is that there are currently certainly use cases for 3D scanners, and just most of us don't have them. And so it's it's we're, we're pushing the market right now with the the excited enthusiast people buying them things they don't need. Um, but I mean, like I know people who do people who do like custom car prints. Like they, you know, um, I think Michael from Teaching Tech did a great example of it. Like I have a part that you can't get anymore for a custom older car, and a person who's collecting that car will pay through the nose for you know replacements. And so 
I can go scan this part and make a replacement. And now, you know, and that totally makes sense. And if you get in that community, then the scanner yeah. is a hundred percent no brainer. Oh yeah. That scanner. But, um, but if you don't have that kind of, if you're not doing that kind of work or you don't have that kind of community to belong to, then the scanner is a mostly a, yeah. a novelty. I got yeah, ripped you... off with my scanner. Oh. Zach, that, ain't, that ain't right, Zach. Hmm? That ain't right. Uh, well, <laughs> maybe you can scan your right, left one. I, you yeah. know what? He brought it up and made the joke, so I think it's all right. You just need to find <laughs> the one. <laughs> I know. Poor uh, but, You always pick on him. Yeah. Uh, I have your back, Tripod. <laughs> He's an amazing guy. You need the uh, you need the Ghostbusters version of a 3D scanner. Um, partial classified, right? Yeah. So I mean, like some people are going to make it, but it's so much easier if you can scan it and print it and just kick it out there. And you know, there's no other option, so you've got a captive market. Um, and there's other there's other use cases certainly, but that's like the most obvious and immediate one that I can think of. Um, oh. So, so I, I did tried. realize I did realize yesterday that I didn't I didn't I didn't ship my sign yet. So I got to figure out if I can fit it in a suitcase or if I have to pay for some quick shipping of my uh, booth sign. So I think I have a big enough suitcase, but I was like, oh, I forgot that part. So I, how about I, put I, it? How about a carry on? I, I know people can take purses and have things in the overhead. Is it so yeah. big? Could you have it with you as a carry on? Have a like a sheet I, or cover over it? It, it. I mean, it's in a canvas bag. It's in a bag. Uh, the issue with that is I want to have a carry-on suitcase that I carry most of my booth stock in so that I don't have to worry about if my check bag gets, you know, lost. Lost. Right. The check bag would be – and I could deal with, like, if it goes in my check bag and I lose my check bag, that's not actually a huge deal to not have the giant sign. We're going to have plenty of Hue Forges everywhere. It'll be Ajax and myself. We have table covers and everything, so it's not – um it's not going to be a big deal. And we're right by the front door, so it's not like I need to grab people's attention. We'll be right there. Um, but it would be nice to... I, I just want to make sure that like the prints and the things that I really need to show what Hue Forge is, and then my laptops, which I'll be using to run Hue Forge there, will be in my bag. So my bag's my personal item. My I'll carry a small suitcase for my checked item, or my carry-on suitcase luggage, and then I'll do check hopefully for the sign if i have to pay 50 bucks to ship it out there by thursday i'll ship it out there that way um, but. i said something wednesday priority two days that's wednesday mind you so it should have been there yeah. friday she just got it today and that was all my uh stuff for the picnic next friday or saturday because okay. because me and my sister are flying yeah a whole a whole from vegas to to long beach Woohoo! wow long trip <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're going. We're doing one of these. Yeah. Hello, we're at thirty thousand. No, nope, we're coming down. <laughs> yeah. I heard they still do it because of uh, fuel. You know, it saves it for yeah. climbing on it. It saves them. They can't just go like to twenty. So I would think maybe well, let's just go halfway since there's a short one. I guess they can't do that. Um, yeah, well, right. There's always the, all that kind of crap. Um, so what kind of car have, in a Ferrari? No, I got a minivan. <laughs> I got a minivan. I was like, well, last time I was in Colorado, we ended up with a big SUV and I backed it into someone. So I said, let's not do a big SUV Ooh. again. I'm used, I'm used to drive. I, fortunately it was a parked car. It wasn't a big accident, but you know, it was not great. Um, and, uh, I said, well, I'm driving at least two other people with me, probably like picking up people to take to the convention center or whatever. Uh, and I'm comfortable with a, a minivan. We drive, we have one at home, you know, so that'll be yeah. easy. I'll drive that. And uh, and then it turns out I'm going to actually be taking Adam Vector 3D from the airport as well up to, I won't bring him back because he leaves Wednesday, but I'll, I'll drive him up to uh, Loveland from the airport as well. So now there'll be four of us, and I'm like, okay, great, perfect. That the minivan is great. We'll have plenty of room and fold down the back. If you ever have extra and... money, get a Hue Forge wrap put on your minivan <laughs> with the website, all that stuff. And if you do a lot of driving and going out, it would be a lot of extra advertisement. 
You look um, like an ice cream truck, but you know it's still have everywhere. I'm just not sure that my target audience is dense enough in my area where I live. Okay. Um, for for me to wrap my car and have it make sense, I have actually spent zero dollars in advertisement. That is something I have spent nothing on, which is nice, nice thing about social media nowadays. It, yeah, yeah. Other people, if you got a great product, other people will take care of it for you. So, um, but yeah, it's been really interesting. And yeah, the big thing right now is trying to make sure that I cut off at some point in the day and go upstairs. Though this last week or so has been just getting ready for Remurf and getting the release out. So it's been understood that I'm down more often. But like we'll we'll do something in the evening and then I'll come downstairs and work. So. Um, I went and played honey, airsoft this when morning. You're coming up, honey, when you come no, up, honey, when you come No, no one complains. They just say we never see you. I'm like, yeah. Um, but so this morning I went and played airsoft with my youngest, and uh, I'm sore all over. And then my kids had all their friends over, so it was perfectly fine for me to be in the basement hiding from that crowd of teenagers. So, then, so an excuse to shoot your kids. That's cool. <laughs> I, did, I did. I got to light him up once. It was great. I did light me up. So. What do you mean? Hello. So. Mm-hmm. But. Um. Okay. Soon somebody will be doing a great big Q Forge print on the orange Giga. No one's done it yet, I don't think, but somebody will. No. Nope. I have a print all lined up. I, I, I sent one up for uh, to Uncle Jesse. I'm like, here, this is your print to do. And he didn't ever reply. But um, I have one for you him. Mean, you mean that guy that bro- broke a, a glass during a demo? Yeah. The, yeah. No, the, the, the unboxing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Uncle well, Jesse door. He one four and it swung open and broke. His max, yeah. He yeah, maxed it out. Oh, and then on the other printer, when they were showing on the live stream with Sam Prentice, the... Chinese yeah. people kept taking the door and closing it. Well, that isn't what happened. It swung open and snapped. Yeah. That wasn't a closing issue, so he no. wasn't even recreating it properly. Tip no. it forward. If you're one you're, on, you're trying to advertise for the new one. It'll it'll probably snap it also. Yeah. From tropical yeah. force, a sudden stop. Don't, I think don't. somebody is going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, that, you know, I will just give a break. The Uncle Jesse moment was great, and he owned it. That's what made it even better, is he just owned that moment. Yeah. And said, he didn't yep. out. He's just like, what? <laughs> I would have and then to he believe posted everywhere. what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Though it is less of an issue when you have, I mean, I, I mean, I already have the issue. I have actually my, so my, I got my shipping uh, notice for my Magneto X, which I ordered, you know, back in the day and forgot about. Um, and I'm like, oh crap, now I got to get rid of printers to make room. So, you know, if you've got enough printers that you're getting rid of printers to make room, then probably you're not so crushed when the door of one that you don't even know if you're going to want to keep breaks. So, but yeah, that is a common problem. Like I can't set that printer up. I have no room. Well, I put out two videos this week for TH3D. This one here is doing really well. I don't want to give away what it's about in the title. And then the second one right here is not doing as good, but I think I've done a good job on the thumbnails. I was real li- skeptical on this one. What what should it say? But anyway, yeah, they're doing real well. Yeah, I have not put out a video in a while. Um, I did record some and had someone who's going to edit for them, edit them better than I do because I barely edit. Um, and uh, then he had family issues, so was unable to work on it. And then I was talking to someone else who said they could do some editing for me. And then I said, well, but should I wait for the new version that makes this more cl- you know, clearer, everything clearer? Mm-hmm. He said, yeah, you should wait for the new version that makes everything clearer. So I'll probably record a couple. I might try to record one and just dump the raw footage up next week so that I yeah. can have someone working on it while I'm at Rocky Mountain and everything. But I'm, the week after Rocky Mountain, I'm not doing it. So but color, aware, color Aware is very confusing to a lot of people, and I need some good videos on that. So. Something I thought was pretty hilarious yesterday. I was looking at both those videos. They're only 10 seconds apart. One's 12 minutes and like 31 seconds. The other one's 12 minutes, 41 seconds. Complete coincidence. Because when I film anything, like most people, you film everything and then you edit it and you chop it up and put it mm-hmm. together. And it comes out how it comes out. You have no idea how long it's going to be till you render it, you watch it. And there are 10 seconds difference between them. That's pretty funny. You just have, you have, a, cool. spot. You have a style and a size. Yeah. 
And then people always complain about the music. Oh, why do you play the music? Oh, I don't like that song. Somebody always has something to say about everything. So it is what it is. I try to, you know, do my best. And if people don't like it, don't watch. What do we think about the CFS? Yeah. Do we think it's going to be Clipper compatible widely on the K2? I believe. Well, you know, they lock they try they lock down their Clipper a little bit on their other printers. So, but I I'm excited. Like if we get an AMS for that's Clipper compatible, that'll be a big deal. You're talking about Creality's new printer? Yeah, their CFS. That's that's okay. on top of the printer. The the CFS unit. Um, yeah. Which you know, clear. I I love how Sam was like, basically, yeah, they're copying someone else, but they're trying to fix some of the stuff that the other people have had trouble with, at the same time. So, um, yeah, the, yeah, a master at work. Really? Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Sam, <laughs> Sam is say whatever works, whatever makes you popular. <laughs> what you say. Yeah, I mean, like I, I think I think it. they have a forget the printer. They have a winner if they make a broadly compatible AMS. Like they should be. They should be building those more than anything else. Like they should, yeah, printer's great, but they should be selling the Clipper compatible AMS units. They have a slam dunk home run there. As long as it works at least as well. If it works nearly as well as the Bamboo Lab one, then it will, it'll be a slam dunk. That will be their big product. Um, any Cubic is coming out with an AMS unit and printer. Saw that. Less detail, yeah, it, wherever the money is, everybody copies everybody. But good luck, the Arco, catch up with bamboo. Yeah, and the That's Arco's coming out this summer. That's the Arco, right? one soon. I messaged the Arco people and they gave me a non committal message back. I don't think they knew who I was. Um, I mean, I said what I did and who I was, but I don't think they knew who I was. And I was like, if my community were to see where it be able to see that this printer works, they, you know, the, and the ones that don't like bamboo, they would flood to this platform because it's clipper and it's because that one's supposed to be clipper based yeah. too, right? So shouldn't their yeah. AMS unit also be a clipper based AM unit? Yeah, that's based originally AM. why I jumped on board was clipper. Yeah. Did I start thinking about it? You know, it's like, am I really going to use this? Am I really going to get, you know, my investment yeah. back out of it? I mean, I, I got to work on getting my investment back out of these lasers. I just sunk 14000 in lasers lately. So, you know, yeah. I got to work on that. <laughs> yeah, I have a laser that I have not used as much as I want to, but I have a clear path to monetization. Donations welcome. <laughs> I have a clear path to monetizing it. I just needed to figure out how to do it. And I figured out how to do it the other day. So now I need to figure out the time to do it. <laughs> so we all have a problem with time, man. Time is not your friend. No. Mm. No. <laughs> and, and now, since, hey, and now since you left your job and you're on your time, right? It's gone faster, hasn't it? Yes, yes. The time goes so much faster now. Even though, even though you're working, but it's for your company, not the not the big guy. It's your company, it still goes by fast. Yeah, oh, when you day. work, you're checking your watch. You're waiting to go home. The day takes forever. And when you're retired, it's like wham, bam. I, okay, I was working late. for yourself. It goes fast. Yep. I could not sleep all night. Day. I got up at eight o'clock. I got in here at ten o'clock. Matt dropped in. I always pop in a couple hours early to get things ready and hang out. Then I stream from twelve to three. And then when I get done, it's almost you know it's there's the day. It's gone that quick almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's no days where I sit around going. Talk time. Well, the other thing is, like, I mean, I look at it. If if a day's not going well, if I'm not making any progress, I get up, walk away, and go do something else, which doesn't happen that often. But there have been a couple of days where I'm like, I'm just going upstairs. I'm going to go. I'm just going to go do something else right now. Like maybe see if someone in the family wants to watch TV or something because I'm not making any progress. There's no point, and I don't have to stay down here. Um, but then I I do have this feeling. I, I have this feeling that like if if like, my kids had a bunch of swim meets long weekend away swim meets and it was easier for me to go so i went but I, I have this feeling that i have to make up the hours like i was on a time clock you know like have to log 40 hours a week every week kind of thing and now i'm like oh i gotta make up these hours that i missed like, well no not technically no i don't have to make up any hours so do you keep track of how many hours a day you put in you write it down I, somewhere so you can look back on <laughs> it i i don't want to know <laughs> i don't want to know um and then, like, there'll be the days where I spend doing stuff I don't like all day. Those are those are the longer days, but they still don't take that long because I'm just trying to get them done and out of the way 
so I can do the things I want to do. And they always take longer than I want. And then the day's gone. So it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting running your own business and working from home and being your own boss. 50%. Yeah. Woohoo. Actually had a, this print took forever. I can't show I got it. five hours, five and a half hours left. That did not come out very well. I'm going to have to look at that one again. Well, hey guys, have... I like to stay longer, but I have to go. I'm, I'm getting very tired, and my drowsiness oh, no. is like very terrible. Well, get, some, right get some rest, Matt. Quit smoking, like you mentioned, and I hope you feel better. Yeah. 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 I have to because I have certain things planned, and um, to do those type of plan, I have to quit smoking because. It's just a hindrance, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I wish everybody a good night, good evening, good day, wherever you are. Be safe, print well, and see you next week. All right. Bye, Thank everyone. You. See you Bye -bye. Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. I don't think we're here next week. <laughs> well, there he is. Yeah, I'll probably still be here. Oh, okay. So, well, I won't be here next later. week. See you. Take care, Matt. Yeah. And everybody go on the Rocky Mountain Rep Rep. Hope you have a wonderful time. And if you have a chance and you got a cell phone, you're welcome to drop it on stream and share with us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Rocky Mountain Rep Rep dude himself here. Justin. Hey. Hey, Justin. Come on. Oh, Seen you enough this week, man. Go away. I know. I like, <laughs> okay, bye. How do I remember? Well, I was hoping uh, you'd come in so you can do a little promotion for what you got yeah. going on next week. Right. And I do apologize. I am eating during this because I just got home. I worked today. And I'm hungry and I didn't want to miss the stream. So, <laughs> oh, okay. it's been you a, know, a fun event to plan. I don't know how many people ever eat at Little Caesars because it's kind of on the bottom of the fast food chain. But <laughs> those things they came out with that are round are really, really Co good. They're called cup. Co I don't know what they call them, but oh. they I thought, like I thought they were called pizzas. They're made like little muffin pans, and they got Whoa, cheese you... inside and pepperoni <laughs> and all that burnt cheese all the way around it. Man, those things are really good. You, know, you said they came out with things that are round. Pizza. Right. Yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> I think you've seen the commercial. And then and then Wendy's came out with Cinnabons. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, the little right. Cinnabon for mm -hmm. Wendy's. Okay. Right. Yeah. I haven't been to Wendy's in a long time. They got good hamburgers. I like their chili. Never found a finger, but the chili's really good. Yeah, and I think that was here. Yeah, it's all made up. There was never a finger. This was yeah, made I, up I know. Through, I yeah. know it was made up. And matter of fact, I even interviewed for the company where the guy came out of that started that crap. Hmm. The people are so happy nowadays for any reason they can find a reason. Look at somebody wrong or say something to them, and then they want to sue you over it. Right. Matter of fact, Weird Al did a song, I'll sue ya. Right. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he did. Seriously. Weird Al did a song, I'll sue ya. He, he nailed it. So this time next week, we will be in the midst of what it may be the biggest rep rap, rap festival to date. Ooh. By people and by size. I'm not, it's not a competition, but we broke, we're almost to 3,600 general attendance signups. Well, Comparison to it's last not a It's not a competition, but we're winning. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't don't tell my co Oh, got a raid coming in. Raid come in. Oh Everyone, hey. hide. Everyone hide. Everyone hide. Got the cover. LP64 just raided with six viewers. Hello and welcome, Raiders. My name is Jerry with 3D HP and I 3D print. I live stream every Saturday on YouTube and Twitch. I'm into lasers, resin, CNC, a little bit of anything and everything. I hope you had a wonderful stream, LP64. Um, yeah. And right now we're talking about Rocky Mountain Rep Rep. We got Brencore 3D, Justin on the very top up there. You'll see him in a minute. We're talking Break about Breakcore. I, I always get his name wrong. I know wrong. every time. And we're yep. talking about Rocky Mountain Rep Rep, which will be coming in Colorado next week. It'll be a wonderful show. And we have Steve with Hugh Forge down below. And we got a great content creator, Zachary 3D Prince. And we, we got my good Rocky friend, Mountain Tim, that lives out in Henderson, Nevada. And we have up to 10 people. Uh, Every week, up to 10 people at a time on, and we do filming giveaways every week, but we have done both of those for today. But thank you very much, Raiders. Please consider following. 
I'm not sure what Dreams Void says about announcement voiceover, but uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Hmm. Um, anyway, so we're up to almost 3,600 people, ge general attendance signups. We have a week left for people to sign up, not including the people who don't sign up. Last year, the night before the event, we had 2,500. And during Saturday, we added another 1,200. So this event has a chance to break 5,000. And it's starting to get a little nerve-wracking with that amount of people. Like double the East Coast show. And the East Coast show was packed. East Coast, well, it's a much smaller venue, but it was packed. Well, it's, it was the same size venue as we had last year. Um, size wise, okay, but this year you have a lot more space. Oh, yeah, just a mile or two. Let me see if I can pull up the layout for those that want to see. Oh, so many things. I have like 30 tabs up. So, all right, so there you go. kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can zoom okay. in. There we go. So there's our 36,000 ish plus square feet layout for left side was last year. Now you have left and right and down the middle. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, left and right. And then the middle, there's not much. It's just a hallway. And 60 foot by 30 right. foot. And both concession stands, food trucks for the public on Saturday for three to six, and then the after party for the private non is it a big Is it a big wide hallway where if you had Somebody come in late, you could throw a table in the hallway and they could set up right there or no? I mean, we're already using 10 feet in. It's a 30-foot wide hallway. So where Rack Robotics is, there's some space. This layout isn't perfect by any means. Um, so there's about 20 feet between for Rack Robotics between the, uh, you know, their tables and the wall. So there'll be about 20 feet, which will be enough, but there's no space for anyone else there. We're... Solidly booked. We demand right. perfection, Justin. Good luck with that. So do I, but my <laughs> things aren't going that way. So there's a First, few hiccups. Parking is free are. and attendance is free to get in or no? A attendance is free. Parking is free. But, <laughs> and a few of the people know. So the venue, the hall we're in, is fine. The venue next door, which used to be the Budweiser Event Center, got purchased by a blue federal credit union. Not purchased. The name got bought, right? And uh, to pay for the name, any events next door, you have to pay for parking. It's the same parking lot. So an hour and a half before the venue opens, they turn on their cameras and start, quote unquote, charging for parking. For anyone who comes in, stays for the day. If they're there before and they leave, they're fine. But if they come in after, oh, I think it's 4.30 on Friday, Saturday, and then noon on Sunday, they uh, have to, tripod, I wish you hadn't said what that area was. Because um, that's not public. <laughs> um Sorry, then th we'll have a QR code and you will be able to redeem free parking. Now, with so many people coming, we can't guarantee that someone isn't going to get charged, but we're going to do our darndest to make sure there's. Well, I know they up. got the stadium here for football. If you want to park off uh, the main parking lot, <laughs> I think it's free, but anywhere else, a hundred bucks. Nope. If you go to the not, sphere. No, 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 no. Not, not at ours. It's 10 bucks. I know that. I'm saying here in Vegas. If you go to the okay. Sphere, it'll cost you an arm and leg to park in the Sphere's parking lot. If yeah, you go to a game at the stadium, it'll cost you a zillion dollars. Right. So, so anyone, I mean, there's space for a ton of parking. They actually, for anyone coming in this year, the old fairgrounds drive where you drove a little further and turned left in is now closed. There's a light right here. That you'll turn left at. It's a little bit different on how you get in, but it is, you know, it is. Hey, dumb dumb. Nice. Long time so, no hear from. Um, but there's tons of parking. I'm super excited to see Saturday morning how busy that parking lot's going to be. Yeah. Um, I, if we hit like 
5,000, there's going to be nowhere for anyone to park for the venue next door, which is hilarious. I would be fully supportive of that. <laughs> we blow out a big arena that has, you know, paid tickets and stuff. That'd be awesome. So, uh, Death Racers are going to be in the same spot for those of you that saw any videos over there. Back here. What do you got for, what do you have for food there? We have concessions on site, basic concession food, hot dogs, burgers, fries, blah, blah, blah. Do food trucks are food trucks allowed food, to pull up? Yep. They're going to pull up back here on Saturday only for the public from three to six. And then for the private non public after party for sponsors and makers that have tables, um, then they'll be there till nine. How, how far away from that building are the hotels, motels, and fast food so, establishments? So the closest hotel is gorgeous Embassy Suites. Absolutely gorgeous hotel. Uh, let me see if I can get a good video thing of it. Uh, oh, let's see. Let's look over here. So the, it's actually a hotel and conference center. And this hotel, I think, has uh, 130, 100, 200 rooms? I don't remember. Kind of looks uh, like a hospital. I mean, yes, but it's not. Um, yeah. Let me get that to the main screen. That. Uh, so you have your main hotel here. You zoom out a little. You've got the Spring Hill Suites right here. You've got Holiday Inn, uh, My Place, Extended Stay. I think there was one more. And then as you zoom out, there's just more and more hotels. There's 12 hotels within a three-mile radius. Um, and food everywhere. There's plenty of food in the area. Well, for the um, airport. It, well, not official. So that airport is a non-public airport. It is oh. private <laughs> aircraft only. It used to have a little bit of commercial service, and then the company decided to, when all the gas prices went up to $8 a gallon for jet fuel, they, uh, <laughs> they weren't well, making any money. If it ever comes back, that'd be cool if you could fly in right there where the vent is. So, it was one airline going to three destinations, and that is it. There's not enough traffic yet to require it, considering the major DIA airport, Denver airport, is 45 minutes away. Uh, but we'll see. They're they're building a new terminal, yada yada. You're not staying with me, tripod. Um, <laughs> so. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, considering he doesn't have my address. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you really sure? I'm really, really sure. But uh, let's see. Do you know his capabilities? No. Let me. I'm, I'm going to unshare for two seconds and <laughs> pull up a sh No, I'm, I'm unsharing so I can pull a new thing up. He has a very specific set of skills that is a nightmare for people like you. Yeah, I'm not worried. <coughs> not even a little bit. So everyone who, that was there saw the North Hall. Why am I not logged in? Spreadsheet. I don't know. I have like a billion browser windows open. Uh, nope, wrong button. Wrong lever. I don't know if this is too old school, but if he wasn't to take a picture, random pictures of people there and the exhibitors and put them in a great big, like a flip book, print them out like a photo album type thing. And My, my mother-in-law did that for me. <laughs> okay. They took all the ones. So this is the South Hall. I, basically the same hall as the North Hall rotated with some small changes. Um our speaking area will be over here in this area, and then the robot arm in the corner. Um, there's your hallway that you were asking about. Nice large okay. hallway. So the good thing is, you know, as you're walking around, you can see the other hallway and see that something else is going on. So you're not like, oh, nothing's going on there. Big, big, big garage doors. And people that smoke or vape just go outside, right? Correct. Yep. No smoking inside. And then the 3D printed Lamborghini laser stones cars can be right about there. And that's not a really good music. So 
Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. There we go. More pictures. The three D printed Lamborghini. What's the chassis from? What type of car are they modifying? Uh, I don't know. Um, I think I it's a custom it a, chassis. I thought it was a Corvette originally. I don't okay. remember. Uh, this is the second year, Dum Dum Dum. This is our the second year doing the event. The first year we didn't know what we were doing; just did it by the wing of our, you know, seat of our pants, and you know, hoped, and it was a massive success. So now we got to do it again. If, we, if this year, if we go over like six thousand people, we should... <laughs> I might explode. You... I don't know. <laughs> You might like, use okay. I might too. <laughs> but that many people, it gets to the point where we have to do a first in, first out type thing. Mm -hmm. Where people we have to wait for people to leave. And you um, got big wide aisles, so if you got a million people, it's like when I went to CES one year, actually, mm -hmm. both times I went, there was a couple of halls that were so crammed with people, you didn't even want you didn't even want to get near it. You didn't want to walk mm -hmm. through because you couldn't move. Right. Then they had a power outage at one time. It's like, yeah, oh, no. geez. Yeah, uh, fifteen foot outer aisles. Uh, a, a, the main center aisle with makers on either side is ten feet. I mean, the outer maker aisles are eight feet. Okay. I so. still think it's doable here. In Vegas. Yeah. Uh, for about three to four times the cost minimum. Hey, if they yeah. can have if they can have two few shows here, you know, like on the weekends, yeah. we can do we Yeah, can do but it. those cost at least a hundred to one hundred and fifty thousand. Just for the venue. space. And remember, we're not charging for tickets. So if we were, that would be a different story and we could do something like that. But if he was in if this was in Vegas, I'd have to charge to get in. Probably, yeah, probably 25, 25 bucks a person. Yep. And then the venue would charge for parking wherever that was at. Mm -hmm. And every little thing. We're already dealing with every little thing at our venue. Vegas is a whole different story. But then everybody's awesome. setting up and be charged a couple hundred dollars. That's oh, why you, at least. That's why you start getting connections. Yeah. Well, we won't be doing it in Vegas. Someone else is welcome to. Yeah. Even if yeah. you're well connected, you can organize the whole thing. You still got to pay for all that because whoever yep. owns where you're going to be, they mm -hmm. still want their money no matter what. They want their money for every inch of the floor. They want their money for every table, every chair, every little thing i would assume in vegas hello dave venue, how are you doing today my friend honestly you'd probably be at a quarter million just for the venue and that's just that's trade show level and we're not a trade show so we're gonna stay as small as we can now i mean everybody that's in the cmc is go check out dave gatton on youtube he has an awesome channel he does all kinds of cmc's anything and everything with wood Please go check out his channel, Dave Gatton on YouTube, everyone. All right. Then in comparison, how much do you think open sauce cost? Two. Uh, they're charging two hundred bucks a ticket. Wow. Wow. So if I that doesn't that. give you some kind of an idea, um, let me see where it is. I bet I can get it. It's, it's in, in the, San Francisco. Yeah, but I gotta figure out where. where. I is it on I the is it is it in the base? Is it on the runway? Wow. Cow Palace. Cow Palace. Oh, no, All right. Two hundred dollars a ticket. I didn't see that $200 part. A it ticket? was it was one fifty if you it was one fifty if you bought your ticket before you knew the show dates. Like, ladies um, and gentlemen, we have Sebastian popping in. Hey, Sebastian. Hi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, still trying the new SBO eight here. Yep, 200, 399, 399. Very interesting. I know they have a few bugs to work out, but it's got a lot of potential. Yeah, I uh, just did, on, uh, on, basically. I just did the uh, belt tensioning uh, and calibrated it to 110 hertz on those belts, so mm -hmm. that is perfect. And um, yeah, just printing all kinds of stuff on it and um, so far it works quite well uh, i mean the, if you can see the print quality is really good can't have really you see any, any artifacts have you had any major issues with it yet or problems 
Um, the only thing that I don't like is the uh, spool holder here. It's very uh, easy going, like turns very easily here, and uh, it will sometimes make uh, windings fall off here, which is a bit annoying, but the rest is fine in my opinion. I'm just trying to see if there's any pending cost anyway. <laughs> I have it next to the K1 Max here and the, uh, that's the SK1 from two trees over there. Uh -huh. And I think that the print quality is much better than on the K1 Max versus the Soul SBOA. Okay. I bet, I bet that venue, based on what I'm seeing, if they're using the entire venue, is at least a quarter million. Very nice. Yeah. What's the build volume, Sebastian? 350, right? 350 times 350 times 345. So pretty much 350. Well, it can do a helmet with no problem at 350. Because yeah. at 300, a helmet's kind of tight and you can't size it up much. Mm -hmm. I need to do a GoFundMe for 1500 so I can get a VIP pass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be going. I don't think I'll be going. Oh, well. Nice thought. I think you have something similar in Orange County later. Make that, take that expensive laser, Kenny. Make some stuff and uh, sell it on Marketplace. You can have your ticket money right there. Got myself some fancy Ember prototypes plates. Yeah, those are very good. nice. These will not be going to the event. These are staying here. I <laughs> forget Mine and are going to the event. Yes. And then for those that are setting up on Friday, you can find me and get these. Poker chips. Uh, poker chips. 3D printed, of course. And I only have a 1,000. I'm still printing them now. And when we run out, we run out. Nice. Unless, unless someone wants to spin up a few thousand for me next week. I mean, I think Ajax is a little busy. No way. No. <laughs> He'll be what? assembling. He is supposed to be get. He is supposed to be getting. Uh, he should be getting his shipment on Tuesday. I think. He's so. gonna be burning. If I if I could help, I'd go out and help. Yeah, I'm actually planning on. Um, yeah, that's a, such a pretty color. I'm oh, actually no. planning. Um, I said, "Hey, look, we get it on Thursday." My dad, myself, Ian, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't think Adam from Vector 3D is going to do it, but um, you know, late night build party at your house, you know, whatever, <laughs> where at the hotel, Af and we just, after the bit, after the dinner, yeah, yeah, we just start cranking out. You know, like <laughs> if we if you know if if each one of us is responsible for one part of the process, and we just do it over and over again, we can do quite a few. I think a lot faster than he can do them when he's doing them one at a time. Well, not one. He does like 10 or, or 20. He does, I think he gets about 50 through. So he'll do like 10 sets of soldering for one thing and then another 10 sets of soldering, you know, and he'll do all of those and then he'll do the next step for 50 at a time. But he says it takes him a day or two to do 50. Oh. So like, you know, if we're all, if one person's just solder, 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 or two people are just soldering and then the other people two are people doing Two people at the, least, yeah. yeah. Yeah, two people soldering and then like the other people are assembling per provisioning firm wearing mm -hmm. you know that i think we can probably cut quite a bit of time out of his process would uh, hope. And, have more, hope. and have more available at the venue mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah. people, people aren't supposed to bring food can they bring in water bottles water are bottles you yes are you we searching not, backpacks and stuff like that no we're not searching backpacks <laughs> we're not we don't have we if, it, if there's issues this year yes next year but uh, so there's our schedule. Uh, I'm going to try to have a few printed up copies, but I don't know what I'm doing yet on that. Um, so uh, this is Saturday. This does not include Friday's setup day. Tripod, I'll message you. Um, I don't think you're going to be there in time. But uh, anyway, so this is Saturday, Friday's setup day. We've got 9 a.m. as the doors open to the public. We've got our drag races at noon. Death racers at 2. Food trucks are three to six, a little after party. Same basic thing on Sunday, except we do close the event at four. And from four on is the close your close it up and get out. 
get everything out of the venue in four to four and a half hours, which we did it in three and a half last year. This year might take a little longer. We'll see. And then there's people doing talks. We've got Big Tree Tech and I'm on Saturday. We got IC3D doing the choice for tunts on Saturday. Make her that money with Pooch and Andrew from Rep Rep Rep, 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 Rep Wow Tech from Group. Uh, Joel will be doing a public Q and A, which I'm sure that'll be well attended. Uh, David Tobin, Joel's manager, has brought SME to the venue, and they're going to do some thing with the presentation. I'm not super privy to that yet. Uh, Voron's going to do another panel. I think there's four or five people. Uh, Kuma Mods, our resident uh, resident 3D printing guy, gets a Q&A. He's super excited. And then one of our people on stream gets to talk about UForge and all the things about UForge. And everybody <laughs> here knows how much work I've done in that presentation so far. Uh, a negative, negative 12. PowerPoint has been open for four days. Hey, at least you got it open. <laughs> How many pages do you have? I wrote the title page. <laughs> God, we got, I've never we seen got this, day Steve. Where YouTubers got managers? No, oh, man. Yeah, I so don't. He's, so he's that big, huh? Three D uh, Joel Telling, yeah, he he picked up David years ago, but it's not David's sole job. David does other things as well, but he also produces. Um, How do you, Jack? Nice. Plus one for points at the point. Um. So, uh, yeah, we'll have giveaways at the Hugh Forge table too. Yeah, I need you to message me for potential times because we're trying not to overlap. Right. Yeah. Like I'm. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, tell me what times are available. Like I don't want to be competing with Voron or LDO. You, or... I, I haven't heard with, from Voron. I've heard from LDO. So that's on our web. That's actually on our website. We have giveaways. Okay. Okay. Um, hey, Jeff. Yeah. All right. You know what? You know what? I will do. I'll tell. I'll send you some times, and yeah, send but me you some can times. shift me. I'll send you some yeah. times, but you can um, totally tell me we're moving. It needs you. to be fifty minutes, five zero minutes. Uh huh. After like ten minutes before the hour, because we have talks at the uh, hour, we're trying uh, to like not overlap too much. You guys are totally screwing up. Man. I got a couple <laughs> questions. Do you have really good internet? And are most of the <laughs> there going to be using apps to sell things where they I take a debit or I credit? Know, and... I don't know on the vendors. Uh, I'm assuming so, but I have no. Priv I'm not privy to their selling process. Is there a cash machine on the property? Yes. But they, okay. it's a, one of those ATMs they charge you for every time you do it. Like five bucks. Oh, of course. Yeah. Steve, you gotta make Steve, money. Steve yes. you know what you got to say next time when you're talking to this guy? You're going to say, well, when your people talk to my people, we'll get that <laughs> scheduled. And then yeah, we'll do right. sushi. And then we'll that's do right. sushi. Okay? That's right. And you okay, have, you you've go. got local banks around there. So if somebody had that cash, they can drive down the road, probably hit an ATM and come right back. Yep. Oh, and um, make sure you say, and then we'll touch base. Right. That is actually yeah. something I should mention to Ajax because I don't think mm -hmm. Ajax was planning on taking cash, nor well, was he I don't planning know on having how many people are doing cash. Yeah. Hey, I hear kids blowing up behind me, so I'm gonna bounce. Thank you guys All for right. having me on. Thank you, Steve. And, uh, you have, I'll see you next week. have an awesome week. See you next week. I hope week. you have a great time next weekend. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. See, ya. see you later. Continuing Steve. the schedule, we've got deposition oh, yeah. sound. They've got a maker table. Um, doing some kind of presentation with their uh, 3D printed speakers. Uh, and then we got the big 3D printing panel. This will be very well attended, I bet. We've got Joel, Ellie from Coco Press, Akuma Mods, Pezlas, and Grant. And, we're, and nice. Edge of Tech, our MC, is going to be moderating that. That probably will go long. I am half tempted to push that into the one o'clock hour. But we'll see. And then A to Z Industries that does all the Halo and the all that is doing 3D printing for cosplay. If so, you're going to be doing a lot of talking, take throat lozenges. That we, way you don't we, get a dry mouth. For, for our sponsors and vendors and, and makers, we will have those available. We ordered a crap ton of and, and it'd only be interesting in the Cocoa Press if I can make Reese's with it. Yes. Um, Got to be able to make then, Reese's. So, L, so West 3D's Community Innovation Fund is giving away 
some stuff just like last year for the favorite 3D prints, innovative projects, yada, yada, yada. There will be a voting system in place on Saturday. I can't really talk too much about that because we try to keep it. Shit out, give away some people that can't make it there. We don't. Um, as of right now, we don't. That's the benefit of going to an event. Um, a picnic in, in California next weekend. Right. So LDO is giving away all of this at 3.50 p.m. Saturday. And then I Deposition actually, Sound actually, is giving away I even had, I, Jerry, did I not ask if you wanted to go? Yeah, you did ask me, and I said no. Yeah. yeah. I didn't have the money. Yeah. Well, so if Avello Airlines was still flying to Loveland, when they were, it was $40, $40 each way to Vegas. Yeah. yeah my, my wife, I guess, looked up something, and it was really cheap to go to Denver and back. Yeah. And then I got to get the room, I got to get the food, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. The most yep. expensive part would be the hotel. Yep. Yep. But at the time I was rich, you know, I probably would have helped you I'll a little right bit. Back. I don't have to eat much. I'm like a camel. So, I mean, I'm, I'm holding. I can live off my own fat. <laughs> anyways. Yeah. Well, yeah, things changed anyway, so. Someday I'll get there. I'm actually surprising myself. I haven't ran out yet. <laughs> yeah, because again, I'm doing 100% infill. And the layers are real, and the layers are real thick too. What are you yes, printing that, then? That's um, really cool, Sebastian. What are you printing then? I'm printing something I can't say. Oh, top secret. No, I mean it's not secret. It's just you know, certain Band words. Medias. Yeah, pew pew. Oh. So, Sebastian, do you know what the release price is going to be on that? Or is it still a secret? They haven't decided. Uh, they probably will have some uh, budget of a uh, few units that are cheaper than the others. So if you're fast enough, you will get a few for a cheaper okay. price than the others. But um, I think the regular price will be around 599 or so. Um, at least that's what they, they wrote on uh, social media so far. So. Hmm. Uh, I think it will start at five ninety nine as a uh, retail price, but maybe you can get a cheaper one if you're uh, pre-ordering or ordering the first yeah. ones. Oh, here, more stuff. So I've I've rebuilt my Death Racer a bit, slightly modified with a double front servo, so the scoop's even stronger. All black and some blue. I still have to Looks figure good. out a head for it. I'm hoping to finish it tomorrow. Uh, for me, it's just trying to find time for all the little stuff. I'm, I don't know if I'll actually get to race or not at this point, mm -hmm. but we'll see. Yeah. Who's messaging me? Well, I think I'm going to end the stream. I've been streaming for three hours, eight minutes. We got 33 people watching. So those people that are watching on Twitch, we're going to raid into Maker Deck. And those on YouTube, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you for the donation I got earlier on PayPal. Uh, Rocky Mountain Rep Rap will be next next Saturday. I'll still be yep. streaming here. Yep. Yep. Hopefully and there'll be people streaming or at the event that can drop in yep. and show us what's going on. Yep. That'd be really um, cool. I do know that we are attempting, and I don't know if it's going to work, to record the talks. Um, so we're not live streaming because that's just too complex for this year for us. Um, but you know, at least you might be able to watch it later. That'll be cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, on Twitch, we're rating in nine, eight, seven, six. Thank you, everybody on Twitch. You're awesome. And same time, same bat channel next week. And here goes the rate on Twitch. And everybody on YouTube, thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you to all my guests. And like I say, I hope you have a great weekend, great week. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.